Yo, 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 am I live? Um, can, can you hear me? Because seriously, I was having mic issues the other day. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hello, it's Dashla here, and we are... So Kerbal Space Program 2 just launched, and I am super excited about this, and also the sun seems to have set. Hold on, I can fix that. Let's just accelerate time. Look at this, look at this, clouds. We got clouds, people. I'm so excited about Kerbal. Let's just wait for daytime. Oh, there's the moon. Hello. Oh yeah, watch that. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day in Kerbalville, and here we are at the KSB Space Center. And uh, if you don't know, I, I uh, am a huge fan of the Kerbal, the original Kerbal Space Program, and the new Kerbal Space Program, Kerbal Space Program Two, was actually just uh, launched in early access. I want to say like a couple days ago. So I'm gonna give it a try. Now um, I've only really just like logged in this morning and done like a little test rocket. Actually, let me show you how I do this. I have not done the tutorial intentionally because I feel like um, tutorials are for for people who don't know things and I know too much. So much that, oh no, 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 I don't want to go here. I don't want to go to the training center. I do not want to be, I want to do this untrained. But Kerbal, I'm, so far my impressions are very good. Um, I'm quite enjoying this. And hello Veller, hello Stash. 07 indeed. So I actually went and just like launched a little um, rocket or whatever. How, how do I get to that? Can I just like focus? Control. Yeah, I just launched a little probe or whatever. Let's just spin it around to the light side. So it's just a little tiny probe just to see if I could if I still got it. And I do. So this is this is Kerbal Space Program. The game where you build and launch rockets, which is awesome. And uh, as you can see, I've got just a little communication satellite up here. To be honest, I probably don't need that extra fuel tank. Could ditch it, to be honest, but um, whatever. All right, back to the Kerbal Space Program. I love the new menus and interfaces. It's very easy to navigate. What's cool about Kerbal now is you've got multiple launch pads, which um, I believe this game is in early access. So right now it's pretty bare bones, right? You can just pretty much... What up, Commander Bulky? How you doing? You can pretty much just like launch rockets and go exploring. There's no science, and a lot of the um, advanced features of, of uh, the original Kerbal that eventually came out are not there. But, and hold on, let me let me just turn the music off because I got some Tokoso in the background. I love, I do love the Kerbal music, but we're gonna be going with Tokoso music because it's just better. Okay, that's, that's now not giving me anxiety. Okay, well, let's start off with building a little vehicle. So, I don't know, what do you guys think we should do? Should we go for the moon? Should we go for the mun? Or do we go uh, try and build a, a space station first? I think maybe a space station could be fun. Um, or maybe just try and build something wacky, right? Now, the first thing uh, about Kerbal is, yeah, you gotta build your own rocket, right? Which I actually love, that's the part I really love, because you can build some really wacky designs. But let's think about this for a second. We want to do probably um, a space station, so let's let's build a space station. I wonder what happens if you. Oh, that's nice. It actually like. See, it used to be. They have ironed out so far a lot of the the glitches from the original one that I'm very happy about. What's this? Four seat lander can. Ooh. Oh, that's big. Ooh, that's very big. Okay, we're gonna use that somewhere. Let's just put that to the side for now. Let's build ourselves a little space station. So I am not super familiar with um, the, uh, the items yet, so this might be a little bit slow at first, but... Ooh. Well, that's big. That looks space station-y. I like that, okay. Do we want to have that on there like that, or do we want to just make it to orbit? Well, I say, like, let's, make, let's put a space station in orbit, just a little refueling place that we can go. We got trusses and everything, that could be super cool. Okay, that doesn't look so good. But let's play around with it. And maybe just launch some big math thing into orbit so I can show, show off my uh, Kerbal skills. So what are the, first of all, what are the elements that we want our space station to have? Well, it's gonna have to have battery, right? So we want the big battery or the super big battery? That is, that is a big battery. Okay, we'll just go with this one. Yeah, throw some battery on there. Although, let's just, Pull our pieces out. We're going to definitely need solar panels, so we'll come back for those. What is this? Ooh, thermoelectric generator. Oh, definitely a space station's got to have one of those. We're just going to throw our pieces on the board here. Uh, communications? Yeah, we're going to need some communications. What is the largest? These are all small. 
So, let's see how that works. Usually you can right-click on these things. Hold on, maybe I have to open up the parts manager? Oh, it's got to be actually connected. Why can't I open you up? Let's see what you look like. Oh, that's like a... that's cute. I do really like so far the sound effects are really cool. What about this? Ooh, that's very nice. Yeah, listen to the sound effect. It's very nice. So far, I'm very pleased. What about this? <laughs> little, little. I like it. Okay. Uh, we'll worry about antennas after, actually. Let's just get the base structure of this space station. So I think this is going to be our main, like, module. And maybe we'll just clone... Oh, wait, can we do that? Just... How do you do that? Control click? Shift click? Alt click? Alt click. That's the one. So we'll just, like, have three of these. We're going to do, like, a triple, triple whammy space station. Do we have the uh, structures to make that, though? I need a bigger one of those. Like, can I make that bigger? In There was a Kerbal mod where you could, like, actually change the size of the parts, but I don't think that's going to come. Although they're good. Yes, this is Elite Beta, dude. This is Kerbal Space Program 2. Yes, there are other games, space games, that are awesome. I don't think that's going to work, but I, I have an idea. We're going to create one of... The, oh, that's maybe too big. Yeah, one of these puppies. Although, do we want the cupola, cupola up there? Well, if we think about this, okay. So we can put that there, put the battery pack on top. And do like one of these things. Yeah. So there's like three modules, a little puppy in there. And maybe we'll put, what do you call it? We need like an adapter. That's the ticket. Our space station is starting to look like a person actually. And it's gonna have its thingy there. And then what do we need? We need, where are those cool ass, uh, what are they called here? And they in here, ooh, ooh. Like this. Yeah. I like that. That's where the ships can dock. Okay, hold on. There was something else. What was it in, though? Keep in mind, we gotta get this to space. Uh, oop, oop. Oh, nope. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell what's going on here. I'll put a couple of those. Balance it out on the other side. I don't know what they do, but that's fun. Uh, and then crew cabins. Can we put them like there? Sometimes it is a little bit hard to align. Oh, we can. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to put more. Yes. Just load them up. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Okay. Let's move that around. Put more. This does get a little wonky when you start to go off to the side. I don't know if that's possible, actually. Doesn't seem to be wanting to do that. Okay, maybe, maybe what we can do is just shorten the arms a little bit. Although, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just want one of these. Okay. So this side needs a little love. Or how about this? Get 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 you gone. I'll just grab this whole thing. What the what the what the what the, what the, what the, what the Um Apparently my whole What is my ship at oh it's this thing. What if I move it this way? Why won't it do that? Why will you not do this? That's unfortunate. Okay, I got an idea. Get rid of you. And take you. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. And now important is you can't have a space station without somewhere to dock to, right? I believe that's in... I actually don't know where the hell it is. Is it an electrical? No, thermal, ground. Coupling. That's right. Uh, docking port. Well, that's a big one. We need like a media... No, we need a small one. Let's just move that around. Make sure it's facing the right way. There we go. How you doing, Joe? And Balky? No, I, I, I have not splatted yet. We have not lifted off yet. We are building a space station and launching this massive piece into orbit. For my first rocket. Oh yeah, this thing. Um, I'll find a place for that later. Hold on. And then we also do want some docking ports on the side. We'll go with large. Large and in charge. It's hard to tell which is the... Okay, that seems to be the back side. That's the docky side. Okay. Okay. So we've got the main structure of the space station. Now, what good is this space station going to be if it isn't a place to refuel? So we got to put some fuel tanks here. I think methylox is kind of the, the main fuel. They have methane, monopropellant, xenon, which is more like your probe gas. Ooh, hydrogen. Should, ooh, what's this? Oh, I like it. Big balls. This station's got balls. I know, it is kind of like a scarecrow, eh? Yamix blew up something during the tutorials. Well, okay, I was watching a bit of Yamix, and it, it, let's 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 be fair to him. It doesn't look like he's played a lot of the original Kerbal. Whereas I I have uh, I played the shit out of the original Kerbal, so I think it would be a little harder. Um, hmm. I was going to kind of put the fuel in there, but I'm thinking, like, it's not really going to be the best thing to do. I could just, like strap it onto I mean technically could put it there <laughs> I mean but then it kind of ruins the ball shape of my station okay how about this we will start with this bring that up to space then bring up the fuel in a separate payload and then do space docking so in order to do that we're going to need um, a docking thingy here so maybe like an extra large dock right on the bottom is that the right side does not look like the right side. It's kind of hard to tell when you're so far away. What was that little bloop? Okay, now the light is hitting. Okay, so that looks like the docky side. That looks like the not docky side. So we want the not docky side on the bottom. Dirt. No, that's backwards. Okay. So that's the top of our space station. Now... Should we add anything else up there? Communications. We do need communications. Which one did I like? I think it was these ones. Yeah. So let's put four communitrons there so we have full coverage. Actually, maybe I could just put them here. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll just throw them away. Oh, and that's what I really love is that the, the, the items get grouped, so everything extends at once. That's really cool. Um, the spinning thing of death you started with happened during the tutorials. I saw a little bit of that, and I was like, oh my god, Yamex, you don't know about struts? You need more struts, man. Speaking of which, let's start strutting this up. So yeah, uh, the thing you need to know about Kerbal, there are two rules. More boosters, more struts. That's it. That's all you need to know. Um, ooh. I might have some symmetry issues here, because... Yeah. I might have to do these struts manually. That's fine. More struts, more boosters. That is the rule for Kerbal. So we're going to strut everything. Top and bottom. Just to keep it keep it holding together, right? Now again, you get into weird symmetry things when you're trying bizarre things like I am doing. Let's do that. Okay. 
strut from there, over here. I think we need to strut this to this. Okay, that's some basic struts. And then we should probably strut this big old ball. Now maybe we can do get away with symmetry for this. Oh yeah, there we go. Or maybe not. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, so let me just save this. And let's just save this as... Uh, top of station. What should we call this station? Dengus Prime? Yamex didn't use a single strut in his Thargoid boost. Thargoid booster? What? What? Oh, no, no, no. Four times symmetry put balls on all four sides of the existing balls? You want me to do that? I could try that. It's going to really increase our payload because I think these balls are quite um, heavy. Okay, can I... Oh, hold on. Get, get you gone. So what if I... Oh, boy. It's possible. I mean... <laughs> that's, do you want? Do you want to do this? I mean, that's a lot of hydrogen fuel. I don't even know what rocket takes hydrogen, but sure, let's do this. And here's where you see the symmetry kind of just like gets screwed up. Uh, but we could do it from the main ball. Kind of try to align there. It's so sometimes confusing with the camera. Struts for days, struts for days. And then bottom struts. Okay. You don't think it will fly, Valor? Well, I'll tell you something. More struts, more boosters. Let's just see. Okay, I'm going to see. Okay, let me just save this. Uh, all right. This is interesting now, the, the, the saving scheme. I'm just going to put it on the pad and see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Okay. We appear to be okay. Nothing has exploded. So far, so good. Okay. This pleases me. Let's go back to the valve. Alright, so now we need to worry about how do we get this thing to space. Now, the aerodynamics, admittedly, are not going to be very good, but that's fine. Because we just need to get out of the air as quickly as possible. Now, one thing I do notice about this game is a lot of loading screens, and the loading screens do take quite a while, which is sort of annoying. I get, I kind of get it. I do hope that that's something that they are looking at or working on, is like, how can they make things load quicker? Because definitely going in and out of the VAB, um, you have to do this a lot when you're designing rockets, and it can take a little while. Or maybe this is just freezing. Is it crashing? This is early access. Nope, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Here we go. I really like the screenshots. Also, there was an opening cinematic, which I kind of just neglected to show you, that I really thought was cool. All right, so, I'm just thinking, you know what? It might be helpful if we put more struts. Let's try struts from here to the balls. Ooh, it does not like that. I'm not sure what the, the strut rules are in this, if there are, if, if there's a certain length or distance. But hold on. Let's try putting... Okay, we can do it this way. Because we want to make sure those balls are secure. You know, if those balls aren't secure, they're going to jiggle everywhere. And the worst thing is jiggly balls. You do not want jiggly balls. Not on your spaceship. Not anywhere. Alright. This is looking like a good base for the space station. So how heavy are we, by the way? I do notice there is like an engineer's report here now. Vessel has command pod and no parachute. Command pod may not survive. Don't worry, it's not coming back. Vessel's missing RCS. Ow! This is nice. I like this. That it tells me what I'm missing. Because how many times have I gotten a spaceship to orbit only to find, go like, oh yeah, I don't have, I don't have RCS. Damn it. Oh, and solar panels. Let's go with the large, large panels. Where can those go? We have put them here? How's that gonna look? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Although, ships docking from this side are gonna have to... This will be like the small ship dock. 
And these are the big ship docks. That's what's gonna do. Okay, let's put those panels back. That's good. Maybe we'll put some other panels on the top as well, just as backup panels, because it's always good to have a backup. Uh, that's where we got our communication. So maybe... I'm trying to think where these could go. We could maybe just squeeze them in below. Like, if I were to open these, and then if I were to open the communicatrons... Yeah! I don't know about that. Hold on. If I can move these guys up a little bit. This is what I really, really... Like, this is just so smooth now. The whole experience of Kerbal. They've really polished it. So I'm really looking forward to what's uh, what's left to come in terms of future updates. Does anyone know the roadmap? Okay. I think we're good. Uh, oh yeah, we need RCS, that's right. Which is these little guys. And really, you just want to plop these things wherever the heck you can. This is going to be how our station is going to move. Whoop. What happened? Oh, I just warped to the other side. Okay. Put some there. And maybe some down here. I don't know if that's actually going to be good. Because keep in mind, these points, these are like four directional. Okay, maybe we could put them on here. And then on the other side as well. Again, I'm still trying to get used to moving around in the, in the VAB. It's actually quite difficult to um, sometimes place things. And I guess we should put them here. Now again, putting them, uh, you know, again, like this is going to allow it to move left, right, and this way, and this way, versus the ones on the vertical are going to allow it to move up and down and side to side. So you do want to have a variety of these placed. Now, of course, those are all going to be useless if we don't actually put some monopropellant fuel. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, embiggened. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's a lot of monopropellant fuel. Okay. We're going to need more struts for this. Give me the struts. Okay. What about strutting from there? Can I get it up to like. The oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. And then we'll strut them to each other. My frame rates are going to die by the time this thing is finished. It's going to be like... Because there is like, uh, I guess, however many parts you have. Like the part count determines like your frame rate, essentially. Well, these are kind of off-centered. It's fine. We'll just use more boosters. Now, is this aesthetically pleasing? I think it looks like a space station. I think there's too many balls, to be honest. Well, that's someone else's problem. All right, so now we start to work on how the hell do we get this to orbit? So first thing, we gotta go. We gotta go big. Two XL. Oh, that's already what I have there. Yeah, that's 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 a big fuel tank. So I think what we want is this puppy. Good old Methalox. We'll give it a double double dose of these. Double Dangus. You remember the Enterprise way different. I mean, this is a space station. But if you want to believe it's the Enterprise. Okay, so which one? Mammoth 2 or Rhino? <clears throat> so this one has like max thrust per second 1500 versus 3700. Oh, we're going with that one. We're going to need all the... Uh, all the thrust we can get. Wait, that's not big? There's no extra large... What the hell? So, we have an extra large fuel tank, but we only have a large... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was it doing there for a second? Does that work? Oh my lordy. Is that gonna work, though? Okay, hold on. 
Let me just clamp this. Also, pro tip, clamp your shit. Let's just see what happens when we put it on the pad. I'm gonna save it. Let's just see what happens. This is not gonna get to orbit. No freaking way. There's not enough boosters yet. But I just wanna see, will it? Okay. It's not exploding. I'm kind of curious though. Hold on. Let's just see what would this look like. Oh, by the way, there's a cool little countdown now. Watch this. I love it. This is a turbo count. Oh my lord, we have liftoff. It's actually going up. This is incredible. I did not expect. Okay, did they nerf gravity or something? So maybe that four engine works. The problem is going to be my fuel consumption. But okay, this is working better than I expected. And of course, I'm not trying to steer it yet. Oh, for sure, I'm gonna need more stages. I'm just doing a little test here. But isn't this beautiful? Isn't this game beautiful? Especially compared to Kerbal One. Like, there still probably could be more optimization. But I want to see how high I can get with this. This is actually impressive. I did not expect to get this far. Okay, let's just see what happens if I try to turn. Oh my. Oh yeah. That's the problem. So I'm going to be able to go straight up. But turning. I'm going to need more reaction points. Let's see what happens. Oh my lord. Is this really like, is this, are these balls full of hydrogen fuel or what? I guess so. I wonder, is it using, it must be using only the fuel in these rockets. Don't worry, Bill is uh, insured. Oh, for crying out loud. This is going long. Okay, so I'm going to revert this. Or do you want me to cr should I crash it? Just to see what the theme Oh my god, thank you, Valor. Yes, we have achieved liftoff. Thank you for that uh, $5 signature chat. Let's see what happens. I'm going to decouple without turning off the engines. It's an original Kerbal. The engines will keep going. And it still holds up. That's wonderful. So if you don't shut up the engines, you decouple. I am now uh, on top of the rocket, but no longer in control of it. Like, this is now a, a separate piece. Oh, my lord. Can you imagine if you saw this monstrosity take off from NASA? I can't even see how much fuel is left. Can I actually... Oh wow, I can actually still control it by switching crafts. Interesting. Um, here we go. Now it's out of fuel. Look at that, the reaction... Get, get off my butt. Get away from me. Get away. Let me try and spin it off. There we go. Just, just spin a little bit more. Hopefully we can... We can throw it off our scent. Or maybe it's, it seems to be kind of stuck. My docking clamp is uh, wiggly. Docking, docking twerk. I love the clouds, by the way. Though I don't believe there are like cloud layers, but that's something that I hope they add in a future update. Let's just accelerate time if we can. Oh, here we go. There we go, we finally, finally ditched our, our rocket. Now the problem, I would imagine it would be balls first, because the balls are really the heavy part, but it seems to be like balls up. I could just spin this around, maybe, maybe Bill will survive based on, um, 
Oh no, he's not gonna survive. Well, that was kind of disappointing in terms of a explosion. <laughs> Interesting. And then it gives you a little mission report. That's cool. And then it's like, you probably need to go to the training center. Alright, let me revert to the map. We'll just, like, reload reality. No, no need to worry about Bill. He's, he's a trained professional. He has rebuy. But that was cool. I did not expect that to get that far. But yeah, um, Joe, you're, you're right. We need, like, a secondary stage. One that will, like, lift us in orbit. But don't worry, I have something in mind for that. I have, I have a plan. This ain't my first Space Center rodeo. Oh. Now we just get to... I like the little loading messages. Carving fjords. Like, it is... I do like when it's like, okay, you, you've managed to entertain me on the loading screen, Purple Space Program. I appreciate this. Alright, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to call that surprisingly successful. Now, okay, so... I said I have a plan for the uh, for the space stage. I'm going to show you what th that's going to be. So we're going to go with large stack separators. Can we do this with symmetry, though? Or are we going to have to, like... Oh, God. This plan's not going to work, is it? I want to put these on the balls. You don't, you're not going to do it, are you? Okay, what if I just go... Okay, is that actually... That's not on the ball. Whoa! Um, ooh, 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 ooh. All my balls. Okay, hold on. If I just place this really carefully... I really need to reorganize these to be a little more symmetrical. Did that replace the struts? I don't see no struts. Fine. That'll do. Okay, but it held together well. It didn't immediately break. What I was kind of hoping to do was to put some... Like, additional rockets there. But hold on, okay. There might be a better way to do this. Uh, I'm gonna remove this for a moment. Oh no, wait, no. Remove that, because I do want that docking clamp. Alright. So I'm like under the rocket now doing surgery. What we probably need to do is put another one of these puppies here. Let's say square. Yeah, okay. And then we can do more square. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to need another, uh, whatchamacallit, another cupeler. D2A, uh, um, Earth, down to Earth, has discovered that his rockets had crashed into the ocean and became submarines. Wait, what? Are you telling me they actually added in, like, underwater capabilities? Because if so, that's that's awesome. That's something I always wanted to do in the original one. Like, people in, in the original Kerbal did build, like, battleships and stuff like that and, and, and take them out there. Submarines weren't really, super, like, popular because um, I don't think you could get underwater. At least not, like... Validity, val validly. Although I'm sure some people figured out a way. The wonderful thing about um, the original Kerbal Space Program was this modability. There were just so many freaking mods for it. Okay. Is that gonna be a little janky, but maybe we can make that a little better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm getting a little freezes here. Okay. And then... Let's do like maybe medium engines, because this will be like orbital orbital engines. Oh don't tell me I can't put them on these things. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe I need an adapter. Where would those be? Or wait, hold on. Fairings. 
I swear I saw like engine mounts somewhere. Engine mounts. Large. Or do we want medium? And I'm getting some lag here. Oh no! It doesn't seem to want to allow me to place them there. So maybe there's something I can add to the squares. Check your launchpad list at the bottom of the list is a boat dock? What? Oh, oops. I clicked launch. Oh, now I have to wait to go back into the menus. But hold on, there's a boat dock? Virtue dock. Again, surprised at the stability so far. I'm actually... I'm impressed with uh, how well this is working. And by the way, I got some nice tequila here. I'm going to be drinking tequila while we do this and slowly slowly getting more and more inebriated. The more, the more we launch, the more drunk I get. Cheers. Mmm. It's a good tequila. The thing I learned about tequila is the um, the darker the tequila, the better the quality. So I went and got like a really nice bottle of tequila for this week. I've been chipping away at it slowly, but today I think there's no there's no better thing than drinking tequila and playing Kerbal Space Program. That is a that is a beautiful day. So hold on, now how do I look at this boat dock? Oh. Should we make a boat? Okay, space station first, then boat. Okay. Um, now where was I? Trying to figure out a solution so that I can... What's this? What is that? There's a little thingy there. Okay, so I want to... Well, hold on. What if I just put, like, a damn fuel tank? Let's just get one of the stubby ones. Okay, so there seems to be, like... Okay, maybe it can... Ad Hold on. This could work. If I just, like... The problem is they're all slanty. I mean, I could go spinny, but... Okay, hold on. There's got to be, like, a structure thing that can, like... Hold on. Let's see here. What about this? Do you have the down... Oh, you do have the down thingies. Oh, this is going to work. Hold on. Get... Okay, there is a decoupler there. Okay. We're golden, we're golden. Okay, where is the medium fuel? You like these guys? Ooh, medium seems really small. I mean, this is a large boy, so I think it needs large, large boy engines. There we go. And we probably don't need that much in space, so we're just gonna go with, like... Let's see here. No Reliant, that's more for launching. We want, like, the Terrier. Oh no, that's small. We want big. Or at least medium. The skipper. Sustainer. We could probably go with the poodle. No, I think we want the sustain. We'll go with the skipper. Yeah. Okay. And now here's the, the important thing I keep forgetting is in order to move your, your spaceship, you need to have um what are they called? Reaction wheels. Where are the reaction wheels? Do, 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 do. Electrical? No, that's batteries. I like that this is searchable now. Remote guidance unit. Reaction. These are the things that have reaction wheels. There we go. Medium, stabilizer, and small. So we'll get out the medium. And where are we going to put these? Well, let's just slap them on wherever we can. We're going to slap reaction wheels everywhere. 
This is going to give us a full 360 degrees of movement. And then, should I put some up there? Nah, that's probably fine. Okay. Uh, since everyone's playing KSP this weekend, you're playing Elite Dangerous in an empty galaxy. That sucks. Well, I mean, I was I was playing a little bit of Elite. Uh, what is this, by the way? What is that? I was playing a little bit of Elite, but I'm doing it for filming purposes, because I am uh, working on a new episode of Elite Dangus. I don't know what this is. I'm going to just put that away. Now, I mean, you know, you got to be excited for a new space game, right? Like, this is pretty awesome. And it's like, you know, we got Starfield coming out. Now, that doesn't mean, like, Elite is, you know, obsolete or whatever. I still play Elite pretty regularly. In fact, it's all I've really been playing, which is why it's a treat for me to try this out. Um, Vessel will not leave the launch pad. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll fix that. Yeah, our thrust to weight ratio has gone a little bit down. Our mass has gone quite up significantly. But that's fine. What happens if I just, hold on, remove this for a moment. Oh, this trip planner, by the way, super cool. You can put in, like, do you want it to be one-way, round trip, and it will calculate your delta V. Like, that is freaking awesome. Okay, so now thrust to weight ratio is 0.2, which in theory could be fine for space, but should we go with bigger engines? Hmm. Oh, you were watching me do that yesterday. Oh, yeah. We were doing a car chase. It actually turned out really well. I've already edited it together, and I'm super chuffed. It's going to be an awesome, awesome episode. Okay. Well, let's just get on to the important thing, which is boosters. Uh, that would be under engines, and oh my god, yeah, look at all these boosters. The Clydesdales. So how does that help our Delta V? Ooh, probably need more of them. Okay, that's fine, we'll just double them up. And maybe we'll use some more. 0.3, eh? Okay. What about another set? Is it going up or down? It's going down. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's just see what happens. Hold on, I gotta strut. I gotta strut things up. And oh my god, it's starting to lag. I have way too many parts on this thing. This was another thing that would happen in the original. Um, original Kerbal as well, is once the, the parts got a little out of control, things would start to get kind of crazy. You know, I'm trying, I'm, I'm thinking we might have to maybe, um, I don't know, reduce the number of giant, large hydrogen balls. I don't want to have to do that, but this thing must fly. And honestly, wow, the, uh, Performance is very impacted. Okay, that should be... Should we do a test flight? Okay, oh, oh you know what? It's probably not working because the staging is all off. So let's put all the boosters together. Get rid of these stages. We also want to activate our main engine. So yeah, the se sequencing is all nuts here. So all four engines there. Boosters go off first. Those don't activate. Okay, so landing clamp should also go in the first stage. Uh, and then this would be here. Like down one. Can we just move that up? How do we how do we do this? We just go like that? No. How do you move a stage? Oh, guys, maybe do that and then do that. Okay, now let's look at the engineer's report. There we go. There we go. It was all the staging. So, Miss Fowler's wondering about a cat face in Kerbal or Elite. You've seen Ghost Ralph's cat head. How did he get that? Wait, what? What are you talking about? In 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 Elite? I think there's there was the Chinese New Year's helmet. Tokoso is one of those. I don't know about cat heads in, in Kerbal, but um, I know an elite, yeah, there is a, that helmet or whatever. And just for aesthetic purposes, I'm gonna cap off these uh, 
lovely boosters with, uh, what do you call them, little triangle tips or whatever. And oh my lordy, my performance is going down so bad. Uh, the quality of how you and other Elite Dangerous YouTube content creators edit your videos together, especially collaboration ones, has been truly impressive. Well, you ain't seen nothing until you see the next one I'm working on. It's going to be like 25 minutes, by the way. It's like a movie. Or, well, a TV show. Still, a uh, lot of effort to go into it. And then and then we don't get any views because Elite is so niche and everyone's out playing Minecraft or whatever. All right. Let's see how this works. Hold on. I think if my instincts serve me correctly, more struts. <laughs> you can never have enough struts. I'm going to see if I can strut these boosters to the other boosters. Apparently... There are some weird limitations on struts right now. Okay. Shall we see if this works? Should I try... What other launch pad should we try? Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, parts manager. I find it a little bit weird how these windows, like, overlap. Uh, you want to try launch pad 3? Sure, why not? Let's do launch pad 3. Alright, we're going to give it our first honest attempt at getting this thing to orbit. I think something went wrong. Oh boy. That is called Rapid Unplanned Disassembly. Uh, Houston? Houston! Uh, so let's see, the Clydesdales kind of broke apart. Interesting. And also, my YouTube might have been buffering. Oh god, what's happening? What's up with my internet right now? Is Kerbal eating my internet? Did the gravity of that explosion literally just destroy my internet? You got a HOTUS for Christmas and you're still learning about it? Oh man, I still don't have a HOTUS. I would like to get a HOTUS. For Elite, mainly. That's like literally all I would use a HOTUS for. I can't think of another game that I would want to play a HOTUS with. Like, I guess, like, if I were into, like, Microsoft Flight Simulator and all those other kind of, like, Flight Sim games. But no, it's all Elite for me. But I've never flown with a HOTUS and I feel like the barrier that is, like, preventing me from doing it is because, like... Once you have, um, so once you have a, a, a HOTUS, you have to kind of relearn how to fly, right? Okay, so it looks like the Clydesdales were failing. So let's try more struts. Here we go. Let's just stop these things from wavering. We'll strut each thing to like the next one over. That should keep them nice and snug. I mean, the problem is these are kind of like inside of. Let's try it replacing those. Here. Yeah, 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 okay. And then maybe what we can do is just strut the tip of this cap to the main engines. And then I think maybe some struts on the bottom. And then maybe what we could do is actually get more landing clamps keep these puppies secure at the beginning. Yeah, maybe the landing clamp is just a little bit... Yeah. That looks... feasible. Can you imagine just, like, NASA actually building a rocket that looks like this? Okay, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. I've, I, I haven't even loaded it. I've already gotten... 
Failure of linkage between the S233 Clydesdale. Okay, just revert to VAP. Something, something terrible has happened. I didn't even get out of the VAB and it's like, you failed! How dare you, Spatula? How dare you try this beautiful, beautiful thing? Okay, in theory, I could try it without the VAPs. What is going on with my internet? Is Kerbal breaking my internet? To the moon! Hey, Ray Bobula, how you doing? Or wait, I don't know if this is still streaming because I seem to be buffering. Can you hear me? To, to the moon. Hello, Ray Bobula. Hello from Bufferland. Kerbal Space Program 2 is breaking my computer. Or my internet, at least. It's going from like 4,000 kilobytes a second to zero rapidly. I, I blame Kerbal. Uh, it's possible. It is possible. The other day I was trying to stream on Twitch and Twitch was breaking my internet. Does the amount of hard drive space that you need uh, affect your internet at all? Because I am getting low. After this next episode of Dengus, I'm going to purge my whole, uh, all my footage. I have some footage going back to, like, 2016. But I'm not really using it. I'm just kind of hoarding it. So I'm like, maybe I should just delete it. Um, did I crash this? Yeah, I know the stream is breaking up. It's going up and down. I don't know if it's frozen now because I'm, like, frozen on the loading screen. I'm just watching the little kilobytes per second. Now it's at 5,000. And it's at zero. Then it's at 4,000. Then it's at zero. It's going up and down like this rocket. I paid my damn internet bill. Uh-oh. I might actually be legit frozen. You've not had good luck sticking solid boosters to each other. I want to put a structural member between them. Oh, good idea. Just, like, buffering the, buffering the boosters. Maybe that is a KSP1 thing that I'm, like, not adjusting to. Um, still on loading screen. It also could be, maybe, like, Kerbal apparently has some performance issues. Like, the recommended specs are higher than what I have, and quite crazy. Um, I think I might be frozen. But that could actually be, like, eating up my CPU, which is, like, preventing the streams from going out. Am I going to have to control I'll delete this puppy? Hello, Mr. Kerbal. Yeah, it's still mispronouncing Xenon. I'm going to try an Alt F4. Oh, that didn't work. That's not good news. Alright. Oh, it did work. Wonderful. Okay. Allow me to reboot. Oh, and then my bitrate goes up. It was Kerbal, I swear. It's not me. I paid my internet bill, man. This is why you're not supposed to play games when it's early access on launch, right? Because then it's just like, enjoy this screen of my loading screen, of my loading screen crashing. I mean, I can forgive it because I'm, I'd rather have it out a little bit earlier. Like, Kerbal is a game that I am happy with early access and happy to see it develop and, and, and grow um, over time. There are some games, like Elite, it was also like that, where it's like, okay, give it to me so I can play it. Now, imagine if we hadn't got Elite until last year, and they just, like, waited to release Odyssey all at once. <clears throat> and I wouldn't have had six years to play and become a veritable expert in absolutely everything that there is to know about Elite. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I know things. I also really like this menu. All right, the stream might go up and down. I don't know, it keeps going yellow, green, red, yellow, green, red. It's like a traffic light. KSP2 is being built for hardware that will be available when it's done, right? I know, right? It's like, I upgraded my computer, I wanna say like two years ago, or what, what? maybe a year and a half ago to accommodate Odyssey's massive expectations, which, you know, again, for the first six months of Alpha, ran terribly until finally, uh, they patched it or whatever. Uh, now, now it runs fine. But you gotta think that by the time Kerbal Space Program is in its final form, I'm gonna need to upgrade my PC again. 
Which I suppose that's kind of like the bane of, of being part of the PC master race is you do have to kind of deal with upgrading versus console people. You just don't get stuff, but you don't have to like do anything other than, I guess, buy the next, I guess technically you have to buy the next console, but like a console is what, like under a thousand bucks. Whoa, that's a lot of purple. Oh, look at that. It's brought us right back. Excellent. Okay. All right, so where were we? So I like Valor's idea of let's like, I mean, hold on, let me just take these boosters off for a second. Let's just see, what does the engineer's report say? No, we need more boosters for sure. So, okay, so let's try Valor's idea of let's just like put some more crap on it. Uh, unfortunately, they don't really seem to have a Lampy bit. Now, what if I just go... No, snap mode doesn't make a difference. Interesting. Okay, well, what about decouplers? Like these puppies. Okay, could do that. And then, hold on, I could get rid of you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything's gone crazy. I'm gonna get rid of those guys. So first of all, okay, we're at point four. We need you. Go, go away. We're just gonna clone from the decouplers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of not aligned very well. Let's see if that works a little better. Yeah, that should be fine. Although that first one kind of seems like it's really close to the, the engine down here, but that's that should be fine. And hold on, let's just see here if we put now main thrusters in with all the boosty boys. Boosty boys, that'd be a great name for a band. We deep couple everything at the same stage here. That gives us positive thrust. Okay. So let's just do struts. How low can the graphics setting go? I don't know. I've not played around with it. Normally when I get a game, I pop in and immediately go to settings and play around with it. But in this, I'm just trying it out of the box. So what you see is what you get. You don't need water quality in space. I mean, no, but when you land on a water world, that's when it's like, okay, it would be nice to see some cool water quality there. Yeah, this is freezing. It's so massively OP. Let's just strut everything together. The time spent in struts now will uh, pay off later when things don't fall apart. Oh my lord, though. My computer is struggling right now. So what do you think? Is that good enough? We didn't start the other sides, but... Let's see what this does. Let's see how it works. There was a tiny box girder in KSP-1 that was good for attaching things, but the decoupler should do the trick. Yeah, they don't, they don't seem to attach... Well, uh-oh. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I think... We're still getting issues with the... Whoa. Okay. Back to map. Back to map. More boosters this year. Yo, hurry up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I'm, I'm trying, but I'm fighting against uh, physics, apparently. Um, hello? Okay, revert to map. I can't even get onto the launch pad, launch pad anymore. So it looks like it's the Linksdale, link between the Clydesdale and the TT440 XL, and I believe the TT. Am I in the VAB or not? Wait, what? That's so bizarre. So Yamix yeah, had to drop the video settings to minimum to get the frigging load video not to crash. Well, I seem to be like doing okay. It's just more like if you try to put 2,000 parts on a damn spaceship. 
Bruh. Bruh. I'm launching a space station in two parts. This is part one. It needs the boosters. I will fight the frame rates. It's also fun to just take an early access game that's just up in a couple of days and just push it to the limit. Just take it to the maximum. Though I have to admit, these, these loading screens are kind of annoying, especially when you need to like kind of go back and forth. What do you mean no fair I can play KSP? Do you not have a, a KSP related um, PC or capable? I mean, to be honest, so far I've not been doing much playing. <laughs> just been blowing up on the launch pad. I did manage to get live before. I'm just a bit, I'm like, should I just like get rid of some of the balls and just lighten the load a little bit? I don't know. It would be really awesome if I could get out of the VAB and see how the things are breaking it apart so I know where I can potentially put struts. Is it going to crash again? Tanning on Moho. Uh, I'll just give it a second. It might crash again, though. You watched uh, Scott Man? Oh, Scott Manley. I haven't watched Scott Manley videos in a long time. Uh, watched his video on KSP2. A few things are still missing compared to KSP1. So, like, okay, but <clears throat> keep in mind, they've rebuilt the engine from scratch. Like, there is no science in KSP2. There is no... Um, a lot of things, right? Like, it's early access and they put it out in phase one. But down the road, there's going to be things like multiplayer, uh, science branches and everything. Like, I'm just looking at this as like, okay, it's a fun... Um, like, they're letting us play it before it's fully done and then staging out some of this stuff. I think it's crashed again. Okay. I'm going to alt F4. Time for another restart. I think I'm gonna have to re. Hello, Scott. Scott Manley is great, and I, w I was in a Discord server with the man himself, uh, which was like all the the big um, elite content creators, Obsidian Ant and Yamix and Down to Earth Astronomy and all those kind of folks. We're all in um, this one little uh, content creator Discord that I managed to weasel myself into. I don't know how. Um, and Scott Manley was in there, and I saw him chat in the in the chat box. And I said, oh, it's Scott Manley. And he ignored me. So I was ignored by Scott Manley, but the guy's busy. He's a genius. Uh, you built a 3,000 plus module space for or in Orbiter 2010 and overloaded my 970. Yeah, that would do that. I think the part count is the problem, right? Okay, loot, just don't hold your judgment. I'm I'm breaking this game. That's I, It's my fault, really. I mean, no, you know what? Like, if they if there should be a limit on parts, they should limit me with parts. The original Kerbal actually did that, where there was like, um, you had to upgrade to be able to get more parts on your rocket. Like, there were limitations. Loot, you play ED and you know it's not true. Well, okay, ED doesn't crash this often anymore. It did when friggin' um, Odyssey launched. Scott is great. Anton Petrov, yes! Yeah, Anton Petrov is a great YouTube channel. Always interesting, always fascinating subjects. Really interesting way of explaining it. I enjoy him too. All right, I'm gonna drink more tequila. <sighs> check out Dr. Becky. Never heard of Dr. Becky, I'll check that out. Oh, true, yeah, yeah, we can just put docking. Yeah, I, I think if we minimize the ball load, if we reduce the number of balls, well, okay, maybe what we can do is just take off the big balls, but put the little small balls, because we still need the monopropellant balls. But yeah, you can tell it's it's struggling right now. Okay, so tell you what, I'm going to remove the balls here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Easy now, girl. Easy. Oh, okay. No. Can... I just like oh okay so it's trying to attach okay I'm just gonna put you there temporarily all right we're gonna have, I'm sorry all these balls have to go and then we can put these balls maybe thusly and we're probably gonna need to restrut them 
Though this is a this is a KSP one problem that they did not solve is how the hell do I click on struts? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh, the struts like over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Want four x symmetry? Oh, I probably need to do that. That is not four x symmetry, sir. There we go. There we go. They're not really centered, are they? It's fine. Okay, and we know it's the boosters. Whoa, what's going on here? What's what's happened to my engines? Okay. I can't place them now. Have I frozen again? Oh my god. Everyday astronaut is also good at RW real world space stuff. And he does 24 hour KSP live streams. 24 hour of KSP? Oh god, I'm crashing again. See, this is what happens when you have too many balls. Oh god. Let me try waiting for the program to respond. Maybe it just needs a think break. That's a crash. Your kid is giggling because of ball load. Don't laugh at my balls. Those balls are filled with the, the fuel that our astronauts need to survive in space. It's very important. We're restarting again. Oh, Kerbal. Good old Kerbal. Early access Kerbal. I, I missed the original Kerbal Space Program early access period. Now, the cool thing about Kerbal is there's a huge modding community out there. And I imagine... Like, right now, I think there already is one mod for Kerbal Space Program 2. It's a mod to skip the launcher. Which, hey, the modders are already working on quality of life. So, I love the fact that there, there are going to be a lot of mods for this game. Okay, I'm just going to have to really respect this rocket. Just try and pull some stuff off it before it crashes. Wait, you bumped into him and his daughter Sky here in the local space museum? You bumped into Scott Manley at a space museum? Oh my god. Did you, did you like, be like, oh my god, it's Scott Manley! Because honestly, if, in front of his daughter, that would be cool. To be like, oh my god, it's, it's the man. Hello. Hello. Because honestly, would you, would, if you, if you had a kid out there and then they recognized you from like your YouTube work, would that not be the coolest thing? I would definitely go a little fangirl on uh, on Scott Manley and ask him like many physics questions. Be like, Scott Manley, how many licks does it take to spaghettify your tongue on a black hole? And he would be able to figure that out. He's that kind of smart. Smart man. But it was another one that I really enjoyed. Uh, the guy who did it's like SW Dennis or something like that. I can't remember, but like there's the guy who did this Kerbal content that I really liked where he created all this, this crazy stuff. And he was going to give up at one point. I hope he's now coming back for KSB 2. Okay. Let's just get rid of these balls. All the balls must go. And let's get rid of these three boosters. Why can't I get rid of it? Oh, do I have to click here? Now, first of all, does that... No, that's not what I want. Parts manager, no. I want engineering report. Do I have the thrust? Oh, I do. Okay. So, should we try this? The deballified version? I do need monopropellant. Hold on. Maybe instead of the giant balls of monopropellant, we can just, like, be reasonable here. And take the small ones and just put like a lot of them. Yeah. That looks aesthetically pleasing as well. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay. What do you think? That's a little more reasonable. You scream like a little fanboy piggy? Yes. 
Because honestly, that would be so cool, man, running into Scott Manley in a, in a space museum of all things. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to put, um, hold on, where do aerodynamics? Uh, put large cones. Uh, hello, um, uh, no, no, no. 4X, there we go. Put large cones there. I think, I think we can do this. All right, let's save. And let's go to try. And hopefully it won't crash and blow up now this time. Uh-oh. Um. Um. Do I have to relaunch it? Oh. Uh, okay. Linkage between STL1 and S... All right, Kerbal. What is STL1? Okay. Well, thanks for the good luck. Great mommy like, good luck. I crashed before I got into the bow. STL1. Maybe this is where the parts list comes in handy, because like I would not know where to start looking for that part. I removed all the balls, Kerbal. What do you what more do you want? I think I've got, I've just gone too far. I should just like try to get a rocket in space, and then you get to see how cool this game is. Instead, I'm like demonstrating how often it crashes when you try to do stupid things. <coughs> um, where did my what happened to the? Hold on. I'm gonna go to the Kerbal Space Center. Is this a glitch? Map. Launch pad. Tracking station? Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we found a bug! What if I just load the game over again? Uh-oh. Okay, let me quit to my menu. I'm gonna save and exit, why not? Sure. I've never seen a glitch like this. Okie dokie. Let's try loading back in. I hope this isn't like permanently glitched. Did I like perma glitch my game? It's like now you must reinstall. You must re download. I just want to go to space. Inventing Woody loading hints. I do really love the pressing red button. Like it pauses at random ones, generating ablation cascade. Just makes it sound like it's doing so much complicated work in the background. Most people try to build Elon Muppet's starship. I'm sure, like, I'm sure, I, I watched a little bit of Down Earth Astronomy. It's like, oh, he's recreating real spaceships. Boring. I want to launch giant balls into space. With, with, you know, make a space station. I want to do things that we haven't done yet. I mean, you know, it's kind of cool to replicate and whatever. If you're like a super space nerd, I can see that being fun. Okay. So why do I have the launch? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to quit the game and restart the game. Because this is screwed up. Welcome to Kerbal Space Program 2. Who is it? Uh, more boosters. was like, you, 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 no fair, you can play the game. Well, I, I, yeah, I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> can I? <laughs> can I really? Can anyone? I should have just started with a stupid, simple rocket. I do want to go to the Mun. I've only been able to launch once, and then uh, I put too many parts on. I love this loading stream. Just drop a chair to a rocket. You can do that. You can do that. 
Well, I do have, like, I built a little rover that I think would be fun to try and get onto the MUN. It has rockets on it. A rocket-powered rover. Of course, I have to get into space first. I know, I should just build a giant penis. We do have the balls. I mean, I could make that awesome power space dong. Wait, that sounded wrong. Ray Mobula wants to see some space dawn. I mean, really, a rocket ship always is going to look like... For, for purposes of aerodynamics, right? If you built a rocket in space, it doesn't have to look like a dong. It can look like the Enterprise. But any ground-based, ground-to-air, ground-to-space rockets must be dong-like in some form or fashion. Remembering ladders. Oh my god. That brings back some Kerbal, Kerbal 1 PTSD. Okay, I just want to get this damn thing to space. Oh no. Why am I still on the launch pad? Have I screwed up this save? Okay. It's letting me go to the VAB. Uh, uh oh. I think the later one. Okay. We can try to launch it really. It's got the balls! Oh, wait. If we get rid of those balls, what? We also got rid of the mid stage engine. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Okay, so hold on. Something's. Oh, no, wait, no. No, those aren't necessary. Okay. It seems to be working better ish. Ish. What if we do this? Put the boosters up here. Yeah. This is gonna work. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. It's already running a lot smoother for some reason. Do you need mono propellant though? That is a mono propellant. Okay. Let's try it. Is it gonna hold on? Save. What happened? Save. Save, damn you! Oh, wait, hold on. What was that part list that broke before? Maybe that launch pad is glitched. Ooh, good idea. It was one of those. One of those. I don't know. Let's just see if maybe it'll work this time. So, we do want to have our Clydesdales and our... Not, not that rocket. Where's our main rockets? These rockets. We want them all to fire at once. And we want the la landing clamps to also fire. Then we get rid of our boosters. After that we can fire our auxiliary engines decouple our main engines, and then decouple the space station itself. Alright, well let's try Launchpad 2 then. Maybe that one will have better luck. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm getting a loading screen. That's a good sign. Oh, there we go. Well, no, 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 no! Wait, what broke? Linkage between S233 and TT... TT40XL. Oh, those are the clamps. Okay. Okay. Alright, going back to VAB. Let's see what happens. 
At least it's not crashing anymore. We've made progress. So are these not the right things to put Clydesdales onto, or what? Maybe they're just not properly mounted. This could be fixable. At least we only got one breakage. It looks like just one of them had an issue. Uh, wall? Oh! Okay, it's working. Ish. So it could be because of these big boys. So maybe... Ugh. Maybe if we just put these back here. And then take these guys and put them there. And then we'll just like take these guys and like replace them on those things. Okay. You know what it needs? More struts. It's gotta be more struts. Performance seems to have fixed a little bit, though. It's running a little smoother. Okay. In theory, is anything clipping anything? Like, maybe it's really sensitive about being stuck in there. I could move them further out, but... Getting your F keys ready. Oh, God. This is going to be successful. Bill... Bob Kerbin here is going to make it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm not dead yet. Why am I upside down? What's wrong with the camera? Um, I'm confused. Okay, I think we're good, though. All right. Let's just try it. Let's launch. I'm not going to start with full thrust on my main engine because we got those solid boosters. The camera is completely bungled. Um, okay. Maximum thrust. It's working! Ish. And the camera kind of fixed itself, but not really. I don't know why it's rotating like that. Um, Uh-oh. Um, should we not be going faster? We have peaked. And we are now going down. Why, 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 why? Hold on, where, why is my main engine stop firing? Oh, because my main engine's got burned off. That's why. Um. <laughs> this is only a test. Um. Okay. All right, let the boosters go. Oh god! Oh god! Bob, you're okay. You're okay. Just, just, just try to hit the ground very gently. Okay. So I guess maybe that's part of the problem: is my engines getting burned up by the boosters by each other. I did kind of place four engines where they probably shouldn't be. I have a solution, though. I have an idea. It's going to require more boosters. <laughs> we can fix this. Hover mode unlocked, right? I was kind of like, why, why is it slowly going back down? And then I realized the main engines had been burned out. A common problem in rocketry when you don't have, like, a way of testing things. But, you know what? We can engineer ourselves out of this. Not in the elite sense. That doesn't mean go grind and get more materials. See, so, yeah, I guess those engines kind of stick out and get sucked up in the boosters. But if I only have one, here's the problem. Oh. Well, that's not so bad. I do have the thrust-away ratio. 
But I feel like I need to go faster. Okay, hold on. Let's add more boosters. So I feel like if we get rid of that problem, either we're going to create an entirely new problem or solve all of our problems. Yeah. Okay, so this would go the same as this. Get rid of that stage and put these guys all in the same stage here. And then maybe instead of having these there, they could be there. And then we're going to need more struts. But this is great, because now we can strut things to things that we were unstruttable before. Well, just everything's going to be strutted together. Yes. We'll just do the, the X strut. I think we're good. And look at that. 1.3. This is brilliant. Okay. Let's save that. And launch. We're doing it this time. More and more boosters! More boosters! I think as long as the main engine doesn't burn out, we should be okay. Ah! Oh no. Now we're getting the same problem we had before. Oh my. Um. That's interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So really, I guess boosters do not like to be um, put on other boosters. Is that what that, that, that was telling me? That was always a thing in KSP1. I would just put boosters on boosters on boosters. Okay. How are we going to engineer this? Like, maybe just instead of putting the boosters on other boosters, we'll just find other places to put them. Okay, at least the crashing seems to have minimized itself. This is good. We're making some progress. Okay, so rather than placing boosters on boosters, can we just put them... Can you just... Hold on. Let me just move this guy. Just put you there for a second. Can we just put them... Let's say further down. Like here. And then move you guys down. Oh, bugger. I forgot the symmetry. So that way there's no booster stacking on boosters. It's not... Boosters on boosters on boosters. So, yeah. And then maybe we could, like, just put more docking clamps. Yeah. That works. Let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? We're not getting off the landing pad until something doesn't break. Oh! Oh! Oh ho ho! And again, the camera's screwed up. There's like different camera modes, which is kind of cool, but... Okay, okay. You just need... To... Maybe I just changed the camera mode accidentally. Okay. So stage one. We're going to just reduce our speed a little bit. All right, let's do this. Can we make it to space? I kind of like the countdown. I really do like the countdown. And you get the little, like, spill of the fuel or whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay. Roll up. Let's do this. Oh, my lord. Okay, first of all, is our main engine on? Yes. Is it broken? No. Wonderful. Have we lost any boosters? Apparently. We have lost the booster. Okay. Maybe we can compensate. Uh oh. We are going sideways. Maybe we can compensate by hold on, which booster do we lose? Hold on. 
that side. Too many boosters here. Can we not engage? No, we can't do that. Just, just fight against it. We can do this. It's okay, it was just, we didn't need that extra booster anyway. Look at that recovery! We're actually doing it. Oh my god. Straighten her out. Straighten her out. because otherwise we're going to come all the way back around. Um, which is exactly what's going to happen. Uh, okay. We're now pushing left and up. Okay, okay. We still might be able to make it to space. Reducing thrust. We're going to save some fuel. Huh. Okay. This could be a problem. We might be a little top heavy, that's that's possible. What's interesting though about this is that the actual as your uh, fuel drains, your weight will distribution will actually change as well. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're coming coming back in. Let's thrust again. Maximum thrust. Can we just stop the spinniness? We can still make it! We can still make it! <laughs> a few more modifications. I think more struts and more boosters can fix this. Well, that was, uh, interesting. But this is the part about science, right? Is, you know, imagine if the real world worked like this, where they're like, screw the math, let's just throw a bunch of rocket boosters on there. Like, imagine if we had unlimited resources and this was how they tested rockets. Like, I, w I would want to live in that world. I'd be like, we just make as many mistakes as possible. The quicker we make mistakes, the sooner we learn. All right, back to the drawing board. So what do we think is the problem? Well, I think the problem was we lost boosters. Maybe we have too many landing clamps. Maybe these landing clamps interfered. So let's try to ditch some of those. And maybe the boosters are too close together. So maybe we could just, like, move them a little bit. Yeah. There we go. That way they're more evenly spaced. Because they were kind of in, like, clumps of two. I mean, more power would also be nice. Like, if we could have, like, more... Don't... No, no more boosters. Let's just try it. Let's try it again. If we don't lose that booster and we can just, like keep a straight trajectory until we get out of the atmosphere, we can power through it. And why can't I zoom out on that one? Okay, body. Body cam. Alright, let's go. Let's get the countdown. Let's just do this. Now let's just make sure we keep all of our boosters. Oh no, we've, we've done it again. So hold on, we've got two boosters here that fall off. Okay, that one didn't even... Wait, did we not... Okay, hold on. Uh, ignore this, ignore this, ignore this. Nothing happened there, nothing happened. Next time, remember to turn on RCS. RCS doesn't really... It can make a difference, but it, it's more effective in space. Yeah, science is the discovery of what is. Engineering is the creation of what never was. We're just creating so many amazing things today. 
I really wish it didn't take this long to get back into the VAB, though. It does kind of penalize you for, for experimentation. I mean, maybe that's probably, you know, imagine, imagine if it's like the NASA scientists, like, yeah, we just lost eight astronauts. It's like, yeah, but it takes so long to build the next rocket. Damn. Okay. Get out of your error message. Okay, so... I feel like these landing clamps are actually the problem. Oh, look at that. We put clamps on clamps. I mean, we can't just hold it up from the top, right? I mean, okay, hold on. Remember there was a trick in the original Kerbal? If I could just, like... Get down there. Oh my god. But maybe what I could do is just try to... Put them as low as possible. Could I put them on this thing too? Or no, that's gonna probably interfere. We'll just put landing clamps on the landing clamps. Okay, I think it's worth one more try. Let's try the launch pad three. Maybe that launch pad is cursed. If it doesn't work, we can get more data. So first of all, let's just let it chill here for a second. See, well, hold on. That's unsettling. See, look, this one's crooked. Hold on, does it have any struts? It does, but does it have enough struts? Maybe that's the problem. It's like the ones that have... Well, let's find out if it works. Okay. Oh, Marty. I think we actually could be in business. It's a little shaky, but we are moving up. We have all of our boosters there. The problem is we are kind of tilting. We're listing a little bit. We may can correct that. Spin is okay. I don't mind spin. Spin is fun. As long as we're going up. Up spin. We are going up in a spinny way. But this is like, this is the furthest we've gotten. a little bit too much. We can just bring it back to the center. I'm furiously trying to not not control the spin, but just kind of like go with it. more struts and we need more control authority. You're right, Valor. We need more, uh, what are they called? The spinny dudes. But look at this. Incremental progress. Inch by inch by inch. We will make it to the moon. No, this is actually going to be a, a, a lower Kerbin or orbit station if we can get it up there. 
but you know, so at this point I'm not super confident, but... No, 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 I am. I am 100% confident. We can do this. All that requires is more science. More boosters, more strats. Okay, so I think that if we just, like, again, let's let's test this hypothesis. We need struts. What 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 happened? Aha! So all the struts were up here. Hold on, we need symmetries. Where else? Okay, well, I'll just put new struts. Rather than trying to find uh, existing struts. That's fine. Just more and more struts. Just more and more struts. You can never have enough struts. The irony, of course, was in the original Kerbal, when you had, like, the part limits, uh, more struts, each strut counted as a part. So you kind of wanted to, like, minimize your struts so you can get more parts if you wanted to build a big monstrosity. Okay, and then what were we talking about? Control authorities. So where are those again? I actually am having really... Okay, hold on, that might be it. Large stabilization wheels. We'll put four of them up here and then maybe we'll put more mediums on the boosters themselves and maybe let's make them aerodynamic just so they look prettier there we go and YouTube all right this should do it I have confidence or I could just turn on RCS. Yeah, but it doesn't... It Like, okay. It, I don't want to waste all my mono propellant because I don't have that much mono propellant. And it's like, it might help a little bit, but it's not... Um, it ain't duct tape. I mean, we could try it. All right, but let's, let's, let's see how this works. All right, no more content. Let's, yeah. let's turn on RCS and see what happens. We've achieved liftoff. We've not lost any boosters. I don't see a lot of shaking. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you rock it. Oh, I think I've spoken too soon. Realistic, realistic. Oh my lordy, my frames, my frames, my precious frames. Hard to tell, I for like, I think we're just swaying a lot. Which makes sense. We are picking up speed. 32 miles a second. Meters a second or whatever. Guys, I don't think this is going to get space. It looks cool though. But hold on, wait, we are still kind of there. I could also... Is this an R is this a autopilot? I don't know what this is, because again I neglected to do anything with tutorials. Uber target. So we are bleeding through a lot of our monitor propellant. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna turn off the RCS and see what happens. Hold on. We're actually getting some speed here now. Either that or the frames just looking <laughs> back in. We are still heading up at a relatively up trajectory. Solid fuels, but we've used about 20% of that solid fuel. I think we need more boosters to go faster. I digress. Just trying to keep us steady. I want to start the turn probably, I don't know, I think it's about 70,000 where you need to... Um, out of the atmosphere. <coughs> I think usually starting the turn around like... Uh oh, uh oh, hold on. We are now swaying. I think 
as we get faster, the air uh, will hurt us more. Come on, Rocket. Don't sway too much. No, you're turning too early. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Okay, RCS on, RCS on. We need every inch we can help. Come on. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, damn you. Damn you, rocket ship. What might be happening, too, is as the uh, the fuel drains are becoming top-heavy, I think the problem is this giant ball of hydrogen. I'm also frozen. Oh, oh, I'm not frozen yet. This, this is a scary view. Tally ho! What, what cinematic uh, angles do we have? Let's see. Chase cam. Okay, we actually did a full aerial 360. Okay, maybe we can recover. Maybe there's just a momentary moment of panic. He just wanted to do a barrel wall to impress me. Get out of push! <laughs> this is the most successful launch by far. So far. I mean, we are about, like, almost 10% of the way to space. Okay. We're going to do another barrel roll. Okay, now you know what? No, this is, this is, this is not going to work. <sighs> okay, abort. That was only a simulation, don't worry. So I'm thinking, maybe, and I know this doesn't sound very fun, to take the big ball off and to bring that up separately and space dock it. Because I think we're too top heavy and that's why we keep flopping around. I think that would be the logical thing. And then, and then again, we could just add the ball to the part two of, of the space launcher. The problem is I'm really used to playing KSP 1 modded and there were all these like crazy, crazy, crazy parts that you could play around with um, that are not yet in this game. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be very reasonable here. Still do need monopropellant, so let's strap some of that on maybe here and here. Yeah, that's good. Now let's just maybe move... Uh, okay, so what we want to do is probably disconnect the bottom of the... If I could just get in there more. I don't want to take the girders. Can I just, like, touch the thing under the girders? Sure. So move that down. Now I can get in. Get you. And we're going to remove the ball. And then we're going to put that there. And then if we can grab this whole little rig and just slap it on there. And maybe, maybe this will work better. Let's try. Top heavy is stable. What? <laughs> Are the engines on top or towards the bottom? The engines, they're all over the place, really. So what is going on with my camera? All right, let's see how this works. Removing the ball, I may have also unstrutted some things. We don't seem to be going that much faster compared 
different than what I expected. Maybe that ball wasn't really that heavy. I mean, it was filled with fuel. Wait, what do you mean that's one of the top great secrets of rocket science? Top heavy and stable. What? I mean, this so far is going a little smoother. We're not listing as much, even though I have a feeling that problems are going to happen later. I think our stage two is kind of fucked, to be honest. <laughs> the frame rates are stable. Not a secret, or Scott made a video about why pulling is working versus pushing is. So as in, like, uh, having rockets lower, right? Well, I mean, all my rockets for the first stage are down here. Once we ditch that, these rockets will be the bottom. I mean, those also could be causing some, like, mid-level problems, but we'll get to that when we actually escape the atmosphere. Which, so far, this is, this is going okay. I think that circle was kind of creating a little too much weight too high up on the rocket. The problem is, like, from my experience, anyway, with Kerbal, not real rocket science, is you, try, you make it too toppy and heavy, and the thing just wants to spin around as soon as you've drained half your fuel and just put back up. I like that there's also G-forces. In theory, I could do an EVA right now. He wouldn't fall and die, though. So we won't. Could have used the tool... Oh, yeah, Balor. Yeah, emptied it of fuel and then, like, fueled the ball later. Well, it's fine. I, I, I put the, the docking clamp there so we can always just uh, go attach the ball on its own. Okay, hold on. I need to concentrate. We are hitting the upper echelon of the thickest part of the atmosphere, which you can see here. It's going to get a little turbulent. But once we get out of the blue and into the black, it should be okay. Start your turn prematurely. I'm like wondering, what is this like thing here that implies that maybe my engine has fallen off? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, well, that kind of confirms it. Um, help! We were doing so well. And then all the engines just fell off. Is this autopilot? We were doing so well. <laughs> Alright, back to the map. Damn it. I knew those dangly engines were going to be kind of an issue. I didn't think they would fall off like that. But I think they just need more struts. That's my theory. Because when we took the ball off, all the struts just uh, disappeared. Because as I remember now, most of the struts were on the ball. But okay, we are we have made steady progress. God! <laughs> we were so close. Actually, not really. Like, I could just make a simple rocket. We could go to the moon. We could be there in 10 minutes. It's fine. But no. No, no, no. That's not Dangus. Okay. So, let's do this. Struts. More struts. Struts. More struts. And more struts. And even more struts. And I'm just like, man, if we have more boosters, if we could go even faster. Is there a more powerful engine than what I'm using as well? Like, there is this hydrogen engine, and it seems to be 154 thrust. Okay, so that's more like a deep engine, a deep space engine. Oh, yes, and there's your, your atomic engine. Okay, that's all your out in space going between planets thing. 
feel like the Mammoth 2 is what I'm using, right? If not, no, no. One point three. Could I make that more? I mean, look, we've got we've got a lot of struts now. That's going to help our stability. All right, screw it. Let's try. Sometimes you just got to do it. Enjoy Red Mobby Live. We'll see you soon. I'm going to do a bio break after this attempt, regardless, because like I've been holding in my pee. This whole time. Alright. I'm gonna allow the countdown to proceed because it's cool. Well, I take a little sip of my tequila. We're gonna do it this time, I have a feeling. There's nothing that more structural will fix. I mean, look at that stability, it's solid as a rock. As long as the engines don't fall off. It looks so cool though. I love how the smoke comes out of the landing platform. Like, that is a really nice touch. I also like these landing platforms, the little islands. Like, that's really cool. Going to space, ladies and gentlemen. It's happening. I hope. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's like, do I have very limited thrust or if my frame rate is just like dying right now? It's hard to tell if I'm going slow or if it's just chugging. Okay, gotta keep an eye on this fuel. Because again, once these boosters go out, I'm gonna kick them off, but. Will I have the Delta V? I need to be, like, at least in the upper echelon of atmosphere. Maybe add some stabilizing fins. That's a good idea, Thomas. It would also look cool. I mean, nothing about this design screams aerodynamic or stabilized. <laughs> like, how you would actually do this is you would just, like, lift the payloads individually and then connect all that shit in space, but... I'm a dreamer. Uh, and also lazy. And I like to just do things on my own. Which some might say is very efficient. Okay, this part, this, this is going well. We're doing this. We made it to, what, almost uh, 3,000 here? We haven't even moved off of the uh, true north or whatever. I really could use more acceleration. Like, I really would like to see more speed. Which, if this doesn't work, we just have more boosters, right? It's gonna be real hot in the center. Though. Isn't that a pleasant view? That's a view you don't get to see ever, because no one would want to actually be here. a real rocket um, engine is. But look at this, look at the stability. See, I told you, it's just you need more struts. That's it. slowly is that uh, Bob here is having a great time. Which, by the way, can I get... C doesn't go into camera mode anymore. There used to be IVAs or whatever. You could sit in the cockpit and look around. I don't believe there is one. Holy shit, we're doing it. We're doing it. 
Now we've only got about what uh, twenty percent of our solid fuel, but we're at twelve thousand ground, twelve thousand uh, altimeters. I believe we'll want to start doing our turn. You could do it. You could start inching it now, but the idea is I want to burn off these uh, boosters, get rid of the boosters, ditch them, and then start the turn. That way you don't. I don't. I don't want to explain why. If you played Kerbal, you'll know why. Because then you smack into your boosters. I'm getting close up. I'm starting to see the air thin out. Okay, we are in the dark blue. If this works, I'm gonna the jelly bean. Almost at twenty thousand now. Really, still have a lot of uh, booster fuel. I mean, in theory, we could really start doing our turn now. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. You can see on the altimeter, I am now uh, listing a little bit to the 90, to the 90 degree angle. That way I can get a little bit of a boost from the gravity. Though, I'm actually going to straighten it out, straighten it out. So we're about to ditch our boosters. Bye bye, boosters. Okay. Oh, we have booster separation. Booster separation successful. Hell yeah. They look like little missiles. Alright, and now we begin the turn. Look at that, how cool that engine looks now. They have really upped the game on Kerbal Space Program too. It looks super cool. Wait, my boosters. Oh, that's probably all going to smash into the, the space station. Um, yeah, maybe we should have got a little distance. But okay, we are now going to... In our turn. And if we can look on quickly on the map, we can see our apoapsis is technically in orbit. 87 should be okay for orbit. Probably want to get that to like 120 or something. I wish I could actually see that from here. Okay, so we're going to try to get to the uh, this like semicircle here. And you can see that little green dot or that green little thing with the two little arms and, and little spike on it and a little dot in the middle that's like where your current trajectory is versus like this you know upside down pyramid with a dot in it it's kind of like you're heading and then the opposite of your prograde or whatever is your anti-grade your retrograde that's like basically behind you so that would be like retrograde is that way prograde is this way or actually more like kind of like that way So, we have tons of fuel. Okay, wow. I thought we were going to run low on fuel. Do I have the engineer flight report? No, I don't want that. I want, like, the thing that tells me... Can I see my, like, delta V, please? No? Maybe only get that in the map. So we are now, I think, just clearing into space. I think it's around 70,000 and some odd is where we hit space officially. So I'm going to go even further on my horizontal. Let's just look here. So we can see again, Apoapsis, that is the highest point of our arc, right? And right now, about 108, which is good. So what we're going to do is just line up with the horizon. That'll push our Apoapsis this way. Try to just like line it up very horizon-y. That way instead of pushing, instead of up thrust now, it's like side thrust. We probably still do want a little bit of up thrust. Right now I'm in the orange part of the ball. The orange part is the down part. You do not want to be there unless you want to go down. Or unless you're trying to lower your apoapsis. As you can see, it's kind of going down now. So I'm going to want to just get around the... Yeah, about here is good. And then just punch it for a bit. And pretty much now you'll kind of see our um, little smashy thing starting to go that way. And really that's all that orbit is, is just falling in a circle so that you never hit the ground. 
and continually miss the ground. This is working. Love it. Being able to rewrite the code from scratch, you get all these new technologies that haven't come out yet. Well, that's true, right? I mean, like, Kerbal was pretty ancient by the time, you know, by the time Kerbal Space Program, Program 2 was already announced. Like, pretty much the modders had, you know, like, kind of had their way with it. It was done, you know? But now it's like we got this cool, cool new fancy tech. It just looks so beautiful. We have clouds. Like, there was a mod for clouds that used to break my KSP-1, but now we actually have clouds. But we actually launched in a, on a sunny day, so we didn't get the benefit of clouds. You can still see the Space Center down there. Need lots more speed. Oh, yeah. That's what these uh, secondary engines are for, hopefully. I don't know if they have the Delta V to do this, but... Oh, shoot. Yeah, we might want to actually just angle up a little bit, because we are about to hit our apoapsis. Again, apoapsis is basically the highest point of your orbit. When that little green circle is at the equator, that will mean that we are at the apoapsis. So we can kind of just stay ahead of our apoapsis by staying here. And that will mean the green circle will kind of push with us. So we'll be there in 44 seconds. But if we kind of hold it there, this is like the forever seven seconds of Elite. And we just want this thing to eventually go... Bloop, 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 bloop. Now I do wish, okay, oh wow, I was about to say, I wish that you could see your apoapsis, you can. Oh my lordy, this is amazing. I love this. So I can see, my, now my apoapsis is actually going up, which means that my time to apoapsis is actually still shrinking. Okay, so maybe I have to go a little bit further up to find that, like, the seven seconds. And it's also really important to try and stay on this line if you want, uh, if you don't want to do a lot of orbital realignment. Because obviously if you go up or down on this nav ball, that's like diagonals. Now if you're doing, for example, a polar or survey probe, you'd want to launch um, on the other lines. Launching at 90, it's important to kind of go to the right because that is the spin of Kerbin. And if you launched and went to the left, for example, you'd have to spend a lot more delta V fighting against the actual rotation of the planet. Versus when you launch in the same direction as the rotation, it gives you a little boost. Look at that. Spatula being all educational. Now again, I kind of knew this would be a little bit of a longer burn. But thankfully, we've got lots and lots of fuel before we have to stage the next phase. I mean, in theory, I can turn those engines on now, but I think the fuel is a lot more limited in this stage. All we want to do is get this puppy to orbit, then we can essentially make the second half of the station. Come up here and do a space docking. I don't know if there's life support, because I did not give Bob any snacks and or, like, light support. Also, keeping, a, keeping an eye on my electricity. Um, we can deploy panels now, but I prefer to do that when we have stop motion. I think when the engine is on, it actually generates electricity. Or at least it did in, in Kerbal 1. I don't know if that's still the case. All right, I'm going to start kind of cresting back down towards the horizon. Apoapsis is... is pretty good position. But yes, Joe is right. We need to get some speed. Also, let me just get back on the back on the line. Like, I think, orbit-wise, I, I don't know what the number is anymore. I think it was something like, like 2,400 or something. Something like that in, in, in Kerbal 1. As I am now aligned with my green circle, it will give me the maximum speed. Though I am starting to run low on fuel, I'm thinking it might actually make sense to stage this. And the next thing we're going to want to look at is our periops, right? We can see that that is negative 300. We want that periops to be as close to the apoapsis as possible. So you know what? Let's activate our next set of engines. Hoya! Let's kick it into high gear.
Of course, they don't have as much work to do because most of these tanks are drained. Did not connect the fuel lines. Um, so these guys have their own independent fuel from, from this main uh, structure. But you can play around with fuel like that and have it like all just kind of share fuel up until a certain point. But the reason for that is because very soon I'm going to ditch this main stage. Look how cool this looks. I love it. I love this game. And once we ditch that, that's going to lose a lot of weight, which will make these engines even more happy. Okay, and our periaps now is up to negative 80, so we've made... Okay, that was a wise move. I keep listing a little bit off of the line. Try to bring it back in there. So again, if we look at the map now, we'll see that now our periaps is actually above the surface, which is good. We want that. Now our apoapsis is getting a lot higher than our periaps. So what I'm actually going to do is, oddly enough, start pointing down towards the surface. Yeah, we are now... Okay, I'm actually going to cut the engines. Let's just get rid of um, our main stage. Bye-bye, engine. Bye-bye. And what we're going to want to do, because now our apoapsis is quite far away. Right, we pushed all the way over there. Of course, our periaps, periapsis is uh, 108, which is still clearing atmosphere. But I think what we want to do is we want to go to our apoapsis. Try to circulate our thing. So let me just accelerate time a little bit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, main stage. I probably should have ditched that while I was still, like... Because now it's going to stay in space forever. Time warp, two point. Interesting. That's a cool feature. So I want to get really close there. And then we'll actually turn off the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down there, Kerbal. So that's a glitch. Uh, did I break it? Did I break it? No, I did not. Okay, so first of all, let's get those solar sails out. And let's maybe turn the lights on. Uh... Do we, do we have lights? Bill, where are you? It says light enabled. I guess the lights aren't working. Okay, whatever. RCS on. Throttle is locked. Oh, time warp. That's why I wasn't moving. So actually, do you want... Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's the... Oh, we got a lot of lights. So let's head to our apoapsis. I don't know if this prograde thing does anything. Does it actually steer me? So we'll be at our apoapsis very shortly, so I'm gonna just start thrusting like a madman. And where are my, my engines? Oh no, I hit the wrong button and I, I lost my engines. Oh no! Um, interesting. Uh, well, can I use RCS to like go forward? You can see it very. Okay, so we are not in an even circle. That would be the killer feature. All the space truck is persistent. Well, yes, it is. Don't drop the stage to the century. So, yeah, um,. I may have accidentally lost my thrust capability. Let's just, oh, can we just like not have this all this messaging? Let's go back on the sun just so we can take a look at our first half of the station. That's not an F-ray mobula. I just lost a piece of spaceship that was important. Oh, what is, I love, get out of here, game pause. So here we go. We have our first bit here. Let's see if we could do a little EVA. AVA is disabled because time warp is not 1%. Okay. So here's Jeff. Your vehicle is out of fuel. You can no longer change its course. Yeah, thanks, Paige. I actually don't want it. Hold on. Hold on. Can I get back in there and just like... 
Can we stop moving? I'm just gonna try to align this. Stop moving. Is it not moving? It's not stabilizing. I'm using a lot of monopropellant. Okay, now if I turn off RCS. Yeah, this is very unstable. This is why you never drop a stage until it's out of fuel. Well, I didn't, I pressed the wrong button. All right, let's get a little, do a little spacewalk. So these go, these guys actually have their own little jetpacks. So here we can see the lovely uh, top half of the spatula station. And there's a lovely little crew cabin down here. Lots of little rooms if you want to just like chill, little passenger hallways. Hold on, how do I? Okay, Bill, Bill. Maybe it's best if we don't do the spacewalk. Look at the solar panels too, I like it. Although, placement of them, they kind of be, feel like they're in the shadows. Probably could have done a little bit of a better design with that, but you know what? We made it to orbit. I'm gonna grab this. Let's just go in here. And now Bill's like in a different thing and there's literally no one flying this thing. So now it's like you can't fly it until Bill gets out and decides to do his job. Thank you, Valor! Yes, we made it to orbit. Thank you. Yes, I knew I would do it. And it's not a bad looking space station. I mean, it's, it could be more dangerous, to be honest. But now let's try to dock something to it. And also, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we... Okay, Bill. Bill, where are you? Um, Bill, we need to stop the... We need to stop the thing from... Why is the RCS going like that? Bill, where did you go? How do you get him out? Um, Bill? How do I get him back out? EV EVA? Bill? Okay. So we might have a little bit of a problem because I no longer am in control of the station. And... We can turn RCS on and off, but it doesn't seem to... Lack of stellar exposure, but... I don't want to just waste monopropellant if it's just spinning. Um, where's the bar? Already thinking about... Well, we're going to build that next and try to space dog it, but... I have a feeling that... Um, we're going to have to do an interstellar dock here. Unless, How do I get Bill out of the damn... Like, does anyone know how to do this? Is there like a crew toggle here? Like, I know he's in one of these things, but like, which one is he in? It won't let me know. Is that is that a thing now? Like, you, once you get inside of one of these cabins? Okay, I'm gonna turn off the RCS. That seems to be spinning faster and faster. What is causing that spin? Bill, where are you? Bill, what have you done? <laughs> Should have never left the control. Um, okay. Well, uh, we've achieved orbit. Let's just focus on what we've done. What is that? Oh, that's uh, one of the pieces that, I think that was the main stage booster. You can see my uh, satellite probe there. If you zoom in far enough, you'll also see that the the, uh, the space garbage. Can we switch to it? Default name twenty three. So we can destroy it in space. Like, kind of like the idea of just leaving space garbage up there. If we look, can we see it? No, no. Okay, so this is a problem. Now, in theory, we could dock. Ooh, 
Well, these are really spinny. How do we do this? Bill, you idiot. So if we turn on RCS... Bill, why? Why, 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 Bill? Why? Is there nothing here that shows me the crew members? Needs crew, of course it does. Uh, Halo. Is it one of these wayfarers? I guess once you go in, it's just like your crew now. He's like, I'm not the captain. My job is done. Uh, hmm. huh. If you look at AP, AP, uh, PE is the low point of the orbit, which is above the at which is above the atmosphere. Yes, so the PE is at least like at least we're not in a decaying orbit, right? Like, or are we? Wait, why are we? Oh God, the spinning is actually jiggling the orbit. This could be trouble. This could be very bad. Okay, now also where is Kerbin? Kerbin is here. Kerbal, Kerbal Space Center, essentially. Which is not bad. It's right after the PE. So if we time this right... So, okay. I'm going to go back... Or actually, you know what? I'm going to do a bio break. And you can just watch this thing spin out of control. Because Bob Kerbin is an idiot. Uh, I will be back in five minutes. And then we will attempt to... See if we can stop this thing from spinning and dock with it. And save Bob. So I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Let's take off this bio break thing. Okay. So just to recap, we managed to get the space station in orbit. And then Bob went and decided to become a passenger. And now nobody is in charge of the space station. We are spinning out of control. So we're going to have to do a Kerbal rescue mission. So let's head down to the Kerbal Center. And let's create a rescue vehicle. Now, there are two ways that we can... I know, we, need, we turned flight assist off by accident. Um, okay, so I'm going to make a simple rocket. Just something that um, can go up there and save him. And this time, I'm going to bring two crews. What has two crew members? Five seats, three seats, single seat. A two-seater, okay. The tuna can. All right, so we're building a pure rescue craft. I mean, we could go with the shuttle, but no, that's like I want to get this up quick. We have to save. We have to save the station. Uh, okay. So we're gonna. What are we gonna want? We're gonna want a very minimal rocket. Let me just see. What's the size? This is medium. Okay. Uh. Gonna be a good fuel tank for this. Like just one of these, and then we'll use a very uh, what are they what are they called? Uh, I mean, is this too much rocket? What's our delta V here? Thrust to weight ratio one point three. That's gonna friggin' fly. Okay, cool. That's our basic rocket. Do we want to give it a nose cone? I think we want to give it a nose cone. Is there no, like, smaller version of that? Okay. And let's get something under there. Uh, this one is good for launchies. Or do we... Yeah, we're just gonna go simple. We're gonna go real simple. Because the complex part of this is going to be timing the launch so that we can intercept our our friend, our friend Bob, and save his ass, save the station. So we're just going to go very minimalist. And let's see here, uh, we can go with like some smaller boosters. And let's give a nice little, nice little tip. Or do we want to go... Oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. We'll do that one. Okay. So this is our basic rocket design. We're going to actually activate everything at once. Let's see. That will give us quite a lot of thrust. Okay. Now, hold on. We're going to want also... One of these puppies. Stabilization, eh? And we're gonna need RCS. It's always good to like try and uh, diversify where you put these RCS. More degrees of movement. That should be good. And of course, we can't uh, use RCS if we do not have mono propellant. So we're going to have to put some little balls on the ship. And that is blocking the door, so no. <laughs> it's going to need to get out. Because, okay, I figure there are two ways to do this. Number one is dock with the space station. Which, oh, yeah, hold on. So let's do this. I'm going to make this dock capable. So we're going to put a separator... on that, and then we're going to put a docking port like that, like thus. Or actually, no, we should go with the... Ooh, wait. What kind of docking ports did we use? I think we had large and small. And large is going to be probably too large. So it's got to be small. And we'll just put you back there. 
looks a little chunky, but that's fine because we're gonna just strut it up. You can do this. Just, just struts. There we go. And then let's, of course, strut the booster. Wait, hold on. Should be symmetry two. Okay. Let's shred the other side. It's just a simple rescue craft. Hold on, what? Why no? Why no worky? Um. Hello, Mr. Kerbal. Okay, we will just put. New, new struts. Okay. And maybe some bottom struts too. Do they have a grabber part from the asteroid add-on? No. Well, that was a cool add-on when you can intercept and grab asteroids. Um, I'm sure that these things will come, right? This is early access. It's been out for a couple of days. You know, I'm sure that uh, eventually... We're gonna get that stuff. Now, I could use, just to make sure that I have enough Delta View, I could just like try this trip planner and see like, do we have enough to go to the moon? For a round trip? Not gonna happen, no. One way trip? No. But that's fine, we don't need to go to the moon. We just need to get to orbit. So this is probably okay. I wish it would tell you just like, what's your Delta V? Like, what's the number? I don't know if maybe it does somewhere. How are you going to dock with your space station spinning out of control? Okay, so there are two ideas. One is we interstellar this motherfucker and just spin out of control and align the, the, the spin. But I think the problem is that it's not spinning, it's also wobbling. So option two is that one of my Kerbals can get out and jetpack into the station, dock with it, and get inside the control center and then just turn on the RCS. So that's the plan. Okay, so first of all, I do not want to lose my nose cone. This should be the very last stage, and to be honest, hopefully we will not accidentally trigger that. So, okay. Everything looks good here. We don't need this stage anymore. This one should be in here. Get rid of that stage. Okay. So it's a very simple rocket, very simple design but maybe that's all we need. Now, last thing is just in case we do run out of power, we're gonna put some solar panels on this bad boy. Looks like a good spot. Okay. And let's call this uh, Dokamungo. All right, let's do this. It sounds very dangerous. So, if you don't know how to intercept or, uh, the, the space station, essentially, here's what we're going to do. Now, hold on, wait a minute. I love this landing tower. Oh my freaking lordy, that's so cool. Just this, like, astronaut tower? So cool. Though it's kind of, like, far from the rocket. So what we want to do is we want to time it. We want to time our intercept so that... This, I think, is this the ship? Default name. There's nothing else. What is that doing? Okay, that's fly safe one. That's my test ship. So this is our our space spaceship. We're gonna accelerate time until it's almost over us. Just a little bit. Why can't I accelerate time more? You should be able to do large time acceleration on the landing pad. That's fine. Doesn't look too far away. I'm gonna try to line it up so that it's like right about here-ish. I should be able to accelerate time more. This is ridiculous. Developers, if you're watching, let me accelerate more time on pad so that I can align with the spaceship. Now in theory, I could just go now and the way orbital dynamics work is like if I have a larger orbit, like if I'm out here, I will invariably going be going slower than this guy. If I'm an inner orbit, if I'm like like closer to Kerbin, then I will be going faster. 
And when you're going when you're going inside the orbit, you're essentially catching up to the ship you're trying to catch up to. And to slow down, you just bring your orbit outside, right? So it should be good. A little bit. Hold on, I'll just let it catch up. Because so ideally, you want to be able to intercept this, like, here. Right? So I would say just a little bit more. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go straight up. And then we're going to try to go as fast as possible to match speed. Then we'll find the point of interception and then just like level out our speed, right? Okay, I think this is about good. There's our target. Okay. It is time. Of course, this is an untested rocket, but I'm sure it'll fly. All right. You ready? Oh, hold on, wait. Okay, Let's just check the staging. Okay, all seems good there. It's time to launch. Begin the countdown. And we got Valentina up here. Oh no, there's only one. Uh oh, so she gets out of this ship. Okay, we're gonna try to dock first, and then if that doesn't work, Valentina will. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got lift off. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how you put two astronauts in there. I think there there was a way before. This is cool. You can see the G-force here, steadily rising. That's an element that was not in the first Kerbal, so that's interesting now to see. I don't know what the impact is. Like, if she if we get to the red, will she block out? Will we lose control of the spaceship? So again, we'll want to keep an eye on our apolapsis. You can see here it is climbing, climbing, climbing. If we were to cut thrust right now, we would reach essentially about 20,000. Let's not worry about that yet. Let's just make sure we get out of the atmosphere, okay? Damn, this is going smooth. See, when you make a normal walk, rock. I know, it looks like the damn, uh, what's, his, what's his name from uh, First Contact, right? What, what's the name of that ship? Can someone look that up? That should be the name of this ship. What was his name? Zephyr Cochran? We're gonna now, okay, our boosters are good to go, but by boosters, we're gonna already start our turn. And oh my lord, it's very, it's very wobbly. We gotta keep a close eye on the app. Oh, oh, cut the thrust. So now you can see our apolapsis has already come very, very close. Now, we are still in atmosphere. Oh no, we're actually in space. Wow, okay, that was quick. I was going to say, if we were still in atmosphere, we would see the apoapsis slowly degrade. You can see it degrading a little bit there, right? But that's cool. Now we're going to time accelerate. Let's see. Okay, that ship is definitely going to outrun us. Which means we're going to need to punch it. We're going to have to punch it in a vertical direction, or a horizontal direction now. Try to get a little bit. Oh, I am out of fuel. Uh, back to this. So now let's get rid of our other stage. Activate our main engines. Okay, there we go. Okay, now this should be okay. Oh, I love the way these engines look. Oh my god, it's so cool. Hey, what up, Charles? How you doing? Okay, so as you can see, this thing is like really running ahead. So what we're going to want to do is try to catch up. So I'm going to speed up till I get maybe just a little bit further. We're going to keep our apoapsis under. So we're going to actually aim down at the planet. This sounds counterintuitive. We're going to punch it, get our speed up. Hopefully we have enough fuel to pull this off. So I'm actually going to even aim down more. So I want my apoapsis to remain within um, the lowness. Okay, let's get our self at least into orbit. 
This is going to be a delicate balancing act with our fuel. This is definitely a one-way trip. But if we, if it works, and we can stop the space station from spinning out of control, I'm going to call that a victory. And also, yeah, again, keeping keeping really aligned with the, the lines so that we don't have to do any course corrections later on. We are really going to be tight on fuel. In theory, we could do the rest of this with RCS, but really don't want to do that. Okay, we have periaps. Alright, and just cut that. And now let's see if we can... Can we still do this? Set target, Dengus Prime 2. Yes. So now, interesting, we're going to get some information on... So let's create a maneuver plan, let's say... It looks like we will be intercepting closest around here. Distance from target about 539 meters, which is not bad. The problem is our periops is, okay, that's actually not terrible. So if I were to maneuver here and can I actually go look at the maneuver plan? So let's see. We want to get this intercept one as close as possible. So I want to go down a little bit because we are a little bit off aligned. Faster. And that will bring our intercept. I don't know how to read this in Kerbal. New Kerbal. Okay, still relative speed. Ew, that's not very good, but. Intercept 2 would be a lot closer. I don't know how this other... Did I find Raxler? Yes. Maybe overshoot a bit. Oh, that's a good idea. Hold on, let me get my solar panels out. Wait, wait a minute. Why well, don't I have solar panels? Okay, I do. Just to make sure we don't run out of power, because that is a thing that can happen in Kerbal. And I can't wait till they add life support. Extended, can't retract. What? So once you pull these puppies out, you can't retract them? Good to know. So look, we don't have that much fuel left, so it's very important that we get this maneuver right. That's my thought, is okay. We could try a couple things here. Try moving this a little bit further back. Oh, I see. There's the I-1 and the I-1. We want those to align. We can try to get intercept 2 as close as possible, which would now be what? Okay. So if we were to do that maneuver on the other side of the planet, then... we would then have a second intercept. Okay, so let's warp to maneuver. Okay. And now, where is maneuver mode? Because this used to be... I don't know. Is that it? I don't think that's it. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing. I should have done the damn tutorial! Okay, I think we want to... Required Delta V is 85. I think we just go after this... This white peace symbol. Or maybe it's that thing. I'm gonna split the difference. And we're just gonna burn. 
and we have screwed it up, I think. Okay, so it looks... Okay. So let's just time accelerate, see what happens. So as you can see, now we're now behind it. And so in order to slow ourselves down, we're actually going to go outside of the orbit. So now we're moving slower than its orbit. But by the time we get back to this intercept one point, yeah, you can see, oh, shoot, we've cocked it up. Okay, hold on. Create a maneuver plan. We want to bring those eyes as close together as possible. That looks good. Okay, so now let's do it. Oh wait, hold on. Speed one. So I guess we want to burn towards this thing. I'm gonna burn very slowly. That's nice, you get a little progress bar. What do? I'm not sure how this maneuver stuff works now. Are we supposed to burn this way? Okay, progress bar seems to be going down again. And then back up. Durr. Did you go after the white circles? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. How about shooting it down with a laser? I mean, in theory. Go on. Bar is moving down. I'll get the bar down as much as possible. Okay, it seems to want to go down more over here. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let me just trash this maneuver. Let's see what we got. Okay, 53,000 meters is not terrible. So let's do this. Let's try to get ourselves a little closer. What's up, Mark Smash? You're making billions of credits? How are you making billions of credits in Elite? Are you doing the, the Xeno combat? I need to make more money in Elite. I really need to. The carrier upkeep is no joke. So now you can kind of see, okay, we're converging, we're converging. And we need to go a little bit faster. So I'm gonna go, let's see here. Can I plot another maneuver? <coughs> Create a maneuver plan. No fuel. Oh no. See, I think I've cocked this up. I think I've cocked this up real bad. Because I didn't do the stupid tutorial. Okay, now I have red triangles. What is red triangle? Let's just see, first of all, what's happening with our space station? Has it stopped? It stopped spinning! Oh wow, okay, 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 okay. So apparently all it needed was a little time to iron itself out. Interesting. Okay, well... Now do we have to create a rescue mission from the rescue mission? At least we can do space docking now if we don't run out of fuel. Which we are very, very, very low on fuel. So I need to figure out how these maneuver nodes work. So in theory, like, what you would need to do is, like, get to that point and then make an orbital adjustment that would actually, like, line up your, your orbit, right? So 
in theory, that would put us slightly behind. But then we're going to run out of fuel. So hold on. Houston, we have a problem. And you can see here, the target is going to be behind me because I'll be going faster there. So what I could do... Create a new maneuver, maneuver point there. I need to, like, bring my orbit closer to it. And then deburn a little bit. Or maybe undeburn? That would bring us really, really close. And that would require 175 delta V. And I don't know how much I have. Delta V, four. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Are we going to be stranded? Oh, God. Um, all right, well, let's just try this maneuver. Let's see if it works. CG for Palladium. Buy 49k, sell for 20. What? Wait, the CG is paying that much? Okay, maybe I should just go over and play Elite for a bit. Because that sounds awesome. Okay, I'm at the maneuver. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think we have to go... The other way? I don't know what the maneuver nodes are supposed to tell me. Let me go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what have I done? It looks like we will be... Oh wow, 20,000 light meters away and 106 relative light seconds, okay. So now, oh wait, what? That was if I completed the maneuver. Okay, so if I just, just wing it a little bit. Bring us down, bring us down. Let's see. Okay. That should be good. I don't have a lot of fuel left. Looks like another Golconda CG. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, right? And thank you, Valor, for the super chats. Too kind, sir. So as you can see, now my orbit is running kind of inside on the track, right? So now I'm actually gaining speed on Degas Prime. It's our first, like, near intercept or whatever. Like, I don't know if I could see it at this point. Like, it would be towards Kerbal. That's where you start to understand the space is really big. I don't see it. Oh, wait, I do. There it is. Okay, so now, in theory, if I had the Delta V, I could just, like, burn towards it. I think that's it. Problem is I have like very, very little fuel. Very, very little fuel. This does decrease the distance. And I'm out of fuel. Oh no. How can I use RCS? Can't remember what the controls were for RCS. don't know what the actual controls are. It's like I, J, and L or whatever. Again, probably would have been good to do the damn tutorials, but what I want is the ones that go there. So in theory, I could call myself using RCS. Let's try and look at that on the map. I think it's... Hold on. Which one is it? H. H to go forward. So in theory, if I were to look at the intercept point, and 
hit H. You can see it does go down very slightly. The problem is our relative speed. So I think I cocked this up. I need to actually go back to the map. Yeah, we're gonna have to revert. Because that's either I it could work, but it would take like an hour. And this is not that this is not entertainment. So I think what I need to do is just be a little more careful on the fuel efficiency. And I think just a little bit more fuel um, would actually help get me there. Thankfully, you can just revert time. You're switching to advanced catalyzers. Much lower profit, but want to stay in the top 25%. Well, true. Although the CG, like, are there any... What are the rewards for the CG right now? Like, do you get a caustic sink if you're in the top 25? Because <coughs> I know that's what the CG is for, right? These new, like, caustic sinks. I'm also drinking tequila while I'm doing this, getting drunker and drunker. Okay, so we need to do this. All I need is just like a smidge more food fuel. Everything else worked perfectly. Top 25%, you get two. Oh. Now, okay, the, here's the next question is, do you have to unlock, like, do you have to unlock shit? Oh, now my time warp works fine. Which, by the way, why is Degas Prime going the other way? Wait, what? Did it just reverse orbit? Um... What happened? How is it not orbiting? Take us prime. What have you? How has my, my space station somehow gotten a geosynchronous reverse orbit? What is going on? Okay, no, now it's now it's working. It just wait. What is the? Da, 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 da. Okay, there's some glitchiness. There's some glitchiness going on here, because... Where is it going to go? Oh, no! What? Um... Okay. Um... What happened? Um... Okay, hold on. Let me go to the Kerbal Space Center and just see if maybe the thing got orked. It's ages, so they'll probably go up for sale. Please let them just go up for sale. Please don't make me grind for materials. Okay, so now, apparently, Degas Prime 2 is on set to now crash into Kerbin. This just got a lot harder. <laughs> so, okay. If we launch now, can we intercept? And can we get back and rescue Bill? Okay, we're going to need actually to revert to VAB because we're going to need to put parachutes on this thing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but cargo CGs work by tonnage instead of dollars. Sometimes it's tonnage, sometimes it's dollars. I think it's usually tonnage. Is it not? I think the, like, the dollars are like the side bonus, right? Like the tonnage is what gets you um, CG points, and then the dollars are you know what you get out of it, other than the pathetic reward. Because the, 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 the CG rewards are still not very good, unless there is like a pre-engineered module. Like it's like you make like 300 million doing the CG, and then it's like, here's your reward for being the top 25%. $7 million. It's like, oh, um, yeah, thanks. So top 25 is currently 9k tons. Oh my god. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's going to be something I do. I mean, I'll do the CG just to make money if it's like that amazing. Hmm. I just realized another problem. Okay, we do have radial mount parachutes. Excellent. Okay. Um... So yeah, maybe we can do a return trip. Maybe not. We'll find out. 
Oh my god, what is wrong with Kerbal? So obviously this is early access. There are still some bugs with this, but like, I've never seen a bug that... Wait, what? Okay. So we're back on normal rotation. Okay. Let me try going back into the space station. And is it normal? Okay, okay, now it's not on a collision course, okay. Cool. No, 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 yes it is, yes it is. I don't know how we're gonna do this now. Something is wrong with the orbital mechanics themselves. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, which launch pad were we on? Three? One? Let's try one. Uh, apparently there's nothing at one. Launch pad two? Okay, well we'll just, we'll just launch it that way. Uh, so this is one of those rare ones where the Kaladi is a high payout, but I say, like, good luck finding any Palladium. Oh, so this Palladium, like, sold out of all the markets? Dang. Alright, we're just gonna, like... We're just gonna go for it. Why can't I launch? Go, 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 go! Throttle is locked with time warp over one. Okay. Skip Gundam! Okay. This game is so not you. It's fun though. I mean, definitely, like, it's like you get to learn about how uh, Elite takes so many things for granted, right? Oops. I've done a terrible thing. Uh, that's okay, just bear with me for a moment. We're good. I did a barrel roll. I can't believe I actually recovered that. Oh, no, 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 I spoke too soon. Okay, we're doing another barrel roll. Ah, and another one. Ah! I think Jebediah is feeling nauseous. What is going on? Okay, hold on. Revert to launch. Why did that do that? That was a little bit nauseous. Yeah, I'll be working... Uh, after uh, I end this stream, I'm going to work a little bit more on my uh, next episode of Elite. So I might have to go in and do a little bit of filming. It kind of like it's like when you're when you're content creating, it's like man, you're just trying to like. I know, right? What changed? I put parachutes on it. Oh, maybe did I launch the parachutes accidentally? I don't think I actually checked the staging of those. So. Nice knowing you, Jeb. Jeb's fine. Hold on, where are where are the parachutes? Are they no longer in um, a stage? Wait, they're not even on the ship. Oh, because they didn't save the craft. So yeah, the, nothing changed. Now obviously, you know, it's early access. It's You gotta take it with a grain of salt. They're gonna be improving the game. Okay, this time I just won't touch anything. Wait, do I not have stabilization on should have stabilization on. A little wobble, it's fine. No 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 no
boost thrust. Oh my lordy, what's going on? I think the game just like broke the physics. The physics of my Dengas space station have broken the game. What a massive L. Like, are you are you trying to say like massive loser, but you can't type out the word loser because you're too lazy? Or are you saying like massive L is in massive, massive, l large personality? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we don't need those boosters anyway. What is going on? We're crying out loud. Alright. We're back on track. Or not, or not, or what is going on? This worked so well the first time. Okay, let me just shut off the engines for a second. Rockets don't normally do this. They don't normally shut themselves off and then restart. I can't believe this is working. Except for the fact that, yeah, I'm out of fuel. And it's way too early to be out of fuel. Yeah, what is what is different? Well, first of all, that is not an apoapsis. Oh, stream is potatoing. My sass is off. Oh. Well, that could be it. Yeah, I know. It's buffering. It's kind of going... It's been going up and down today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I did three streams this week. It's like, you've done too many streams. Do, 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 do. Yeah, sorry for the buffering. I don't know what it is, man. Like, like I have like great internet and then bad internet, but never like just constant, stable, okay internet. So what is possibly going wrong? Like, is it really the parachutes? I also find it really hard to get rid of things. Like, there are definitely some flaws in this early access. Pixel salad. Like, nothing really changed, so I don't understand why it was doing that. Let's just maybe let's try Launchpad 3. By the way, maybe it's because I was launching from Launchpad 3. Let's try Launchpad numero uno. Take a quick look. Okay, so if we accelerate time, well, first of all, is this thing still moving? Because the debris is much further ahead than this thing is. I have a feeling that something's wrong with this. Okay, it appears to have the same orbit. There's something wrong with like time acceleration mode. Yeah, because now it starts going backwards. Let's just assume that it's close to the debris. Let's just assume that the game is working. Launch time. So the SAS was not on. Oh, so why did that turn off then? Is there a, actually a toggle for that? Oh, it's T. Okay, maybe I pressed T accidentally. What does SAS stand for? Stabilization and sushi? Japanese food tonight. I could use some nice uh, shrimp tempura. I could eat literally a, a mountain of shrimp tempura. Okay, this time it's working. I think there's just some weirdness in, in the uh, certain early access phase of it. We're going to try to go up as straight as possible. Once we get rid of those uh, solid fuel boosters, we will ditch them and do our turn. It's also been a while since I've actually played purple, so I am a little bit rusty. 
I remember usually, yeah, it was around 12,000 12, that you'd want to start typically doing your turn. Somewhere between 12 to 20, depending on uh, how deep you wanted to go into space. Bye bye. Oh, I have turned too much. <laughs> Oops. That's fine. We'll just do a barrel roll. I think RCS might actually help here. Try and get ourselves. There we go. And boost. So when your rockets are on, your thrust gives you a lot more control. Okay. So now, worth checking just to see what we're at. Apoapsis here is growing. You can see our target intercept. Actually, I also, also want to be kind of like war. Oh, and that's it for that fuel. But well, that's fine. We are in space now. We can use this tiny little engine. Just need to keep an eye on fuel from henceforth. So I'm going to push my apoapsis to the side. Like, it'd be really nice if I could just, like, get an intercept from launch. Stability augmentation system. Thank you. Is it possible to get the uh, intercept? I mean, in theory, yeah. I get, so I'm guessing, okay, this this little upside down peace sign is kind of like your target trajectory. So I kind of want to line my green thing up with that thing. And then in theory, that's an intercept, right? The only thing is obviously, uh, in order to intercept, you have to be going at the same speed. So if I could get this intercept here, and actually maybe just go a little bit further down. Try to make the intercept happen a little bit later. I really need to keep an eye on the fuel. Again, it's all about efficiency. Okay, you're getting closer and closer. Closer and closer. do is just wait a little bit. Let's use time acceleration. Get around close to our apoapsis. And then we're going to want to get ourselves into orbit. But just like an orbit that is very... Um... Okay, here we go. Ooh. That's annoying, that pop-up. So now we're pretty close to the apoapsis. We just want to accelerate in a straight line. Just to bring our periapsis up. So yeah, again, um, we are in a slightly lower orbital track, which means that we are going to be catching up with the target in front of us. Which, by the way, where is it? It still says there, but I'm like, mm, it might actually be better to just target this debris, because the debris doesn't seem to be like... Oh, I can't target it, eh? Why not? Sometimes I like to see my space garbage. Let's see how close we can get these intercepts. Oh. So here we have an intercept of around 15,000, which is pretty good. We bring that a little closer. A little bit closer. 7,000. Okay, that's actually going to be okay for now. So we're going to get really, really close here, but we're going to get a lot closer on this side, so we got to do a full orbit. 
hold on, wait, wait, wait. Why did it know? What? Okay, something screwed up. You can try binding. Oh, that's true. But then you'd have to go binding. You're talking about Lee, right? <laughs> Ugh. I want to get one of these intercepts very close. Distance from target and relative speed as low as possible. Like, relative speed I don't care so much about, it's distance to target, right? I need to bring that, like, as low as possible. Also need to keep my eye on the fuel gauge. Okay, so 24,000 there. That's good enough for now. Okay, where is my ship? This is my ship? Okay. So we're going to get to that intercept, and then we're going to do another burning adjustment. And trust me, if you're just getting into Kerbal, this shit is hard. Do the tutorials. But in theory... In theory, once you get used to this... Which again, I'm a little bit rusty on. It's a lot of... It's very rewarding. It's like you take for you take for granted an elite when we just like oop, oh. it's almost more like slow down. Distance to target is dropping. It's not gonna drop enough though. What are we doing here? So then we go outside of the orbit. So I kind of need to like... Go this way. Oh no, 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 I'm going the wrong way. So we want to get that intercept two point as close as possible. We're gonna run out of fuel again, aren't we? I really want to do a space dock, guys. The problem is, I'm just. I should have done the damn tutorials. The problem is, we're way too distant. Now, this is the problem. My periaps is now in the atmosphere. Okay, fuck it. You know what? Screw it. Because I, I gotta, I gotta um, go get food soon. So we're going to leave that station up there. And hopefully the next time I stream Kerbin, it will... I'll have built some more to it. But why don't we do um, a landing? So let's just decelerate and um, actually land back on the planet and see if these parachutes work. Flight assistant super supercruise makes all this orbital mechanics easy, right? Well, it's like in the year 3303, yeah. On the Kerbal Space Program, no. It's uh, still difficult. But what's cool is there's a lot of like um, Easter eggs hidden. In the original Kerbal, there were like arches and little secret um, space stations that you could find, even on Kerbin itself. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. And by the way, I wish there were cities down there. I don't know. Do all the Kerbals live underground? Um, I would love to see um, just some of the, the cool locations in Kerbal. Just go around on Kerb. Kerbal itself and just like explore. All right, let's find where are we gonna land. Right now, it looks like we're gonna land somewhere in this deserty area, which could be a cool biome to check out. Let's just shorten that a little bit. So we're gonna land somewhere on this continent. But keep in mind too, as I get into the atmosphere, there's gonna be some drag, so it's gonna pull my landing position back. So I think it would be cool to land in the desert. So let's just do that. 
man, I still got to get used to these new controls. But I would say, first of all, my prognosis on Kerbal is this has been a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I kind of missed um, playing around with Kerbal. All right, I think it's time to ditch the engines. Shit. Wait, do I not? Uh-oh. The engines are not on a decoupler. That's part of the problem. I must have set this up wrong. Oops. Well, uh, I lost my bonnet. <laughs> oh, I don't have parachutes! I took those off! No! <laughs> uh, Alright, well. Prepare to watch an idiot crash into Kerbal. You think you have an easier time using the maneuver planner? Honestly, I, I just don't... I'm not... Uh, I didn't do the tutorials, and it's been a while since I played Kerbal. And I don't know how to use the damn maneuver planners anymore. Or at least I wasn't uh, sure on it. I'll probably play the tutorials, or at least some of the advanced tutorials, just to re-familiarize myself. Or just wait for that guy to create MechJep the mod again. Alright, so we're going to burn up in the atmosphere and die. Let's do it with solar panels out, because that'll look neat. But you know what? Science is all about making mistakes. This is, if anything, it's only taught me that we've done exactly what we were intended to do. For a first playthrough, I think you're supposed to kind of mess up. So I'm, I'm calling this a victory. I'm going to give the windows up here so that uh, poor uh, Valentina Kerman does not witness her impending doom. Brave Mobula is like, burn! He's waiting for it. Okay, let me do a little time acceleration. But look how cool this is. Like, look how pretty it is. The graphics improvement are noticeable. I still think there's probably a lot more they could do. Landing on another planet is probably an awesome experience that I will work towards. But I remember in the original Kerbin, I had a full, like, moon base going. I had a giant space station. I was getting into uh, mods that allowed you to do interstellar travel. Oop. Yeah, man, this is still really buggy. Kind of looks like a little. It looks like one of the little Among Us people. Aim from water, become a submarine. I think my aiming, like all I can do now, is slow down my ascent. But I think I'm already. I could, in theory, uh, try to just aim up and see if I can extend that, but I don't think it's it's not going to happen. Maybe if there's a lake. Though I have a feeling we're just going to die. But it'll be interesting to see how re-entry works in KSP2. There are, like, um, things that you can get that, um, whatchamacallit, like heat shields and stuff like that. A little bit more time acceleration. So we're flying over some lovely mountains there. Man, I made so many mistakes today. Which is honestly, that's that's part of being Kerbal. What up, Plasma Mountain? How you doing? You're just witnessing me. Uh, I forgot to get parachutes. And forgot to put decouplers on my engine or whatever. And I am now crashing and dying. But with style. It's gonna be awesome. Valentina looks excited, actually. Aim to land at your real life home. Well, in real life, if I lived on Kerbin, I would be a little green person. Now, that said, um No, this has nothing to do with it, but there there could be many reasons to explore crash landing on Kerbal. Interstellar travel is going to be in ESP2. Well, yes, apparently there's going to, they're going to be adding other systems. That was a mod, though. Some some mod makers actually added an entire whole new system in Kerbal Space Program 1. And then, like, a whole interstellar tech tree. Which, again, it's just, like, super enjoyable. Um, or super awesome at, at what the uh, modding community could do. Or did do for the original game. So I'm very looking forward to seeing. Because, like, there's no life support right now. There's no... There's no science equipment at all, which is bizarre. No mystery goo. Um, fun fact, parachutes let you land safely. Well, they they don't let you. They help you. But, yeah. Um, 
In theory, I don't know, if I could just burn at the last second. There's enough juice left in these arms. No, no, we're gonna die. Yeah, I forgot the heat shield, I forgot the parachute. Just, okay, listen, it's my first time playing Kerbal in a very long time, and I didn't do the tutorials. For your amusement. But we're gonna land in a desert, because that is also a new biome that I've never seen before. Clouds are looking a little wonky. Um, you enjoyed the stream, Valor? That's good. I mean, I... Okay, this has not been a great display of Kerbal eliteness, okay? I am not that bad, I tell you. I used to be very, very good, but it's been a really long time, and some of the mechanics have changed, so I found myself lost a few times today. But I had fun. We did get a space station to orbit. A beautiful, ugly monster of a space station. And maybe, before we explode, we'll see the pyramids. Oh boy, it's getting real now. Strangely enough, my solar panels have not, like, blown off in the heat. Alright, I'm going to attempt to do a burn. Maybe we can salvage this. Oh, I should have started that much earlier. Something survived! The monopropellant survived, wow. Everything else has literally gone into the planet. It's, they say it's still falling to this day. What is under the planet? It's just space. Kerbal is made of space. Well, okay, I want to do one more thing before we go. Because... Ray, I think, was it you that mentioned that there is a boat thing? Can we create a boat? Very quickly. So I do gotta eat. So Plasma, you have KSP too, but you can't play right now because you're waiting till tomorrow night. Yeah, well, there'll be plenty of time for that. And honestly, uh, I wouldn't say it's like the greatest play experience right now. Like, it'll definitely get awesome as things roll out, but you can tell that there's still... Um, a lot of work to do. Uh, hold on. Where are parts that I want? Is this one? I'm gonna make a jet boat. Uh, what am I looking for here? Where are the jet engines? Do we not need air intakes, though, for these? I think we do. Like, where are those, though? Again, I'm, I'm so discombobulated with where everything is. It might be in aerodynamics. Ah, oh, that's right. Intakes. Okay, where am I going to put them? I just put them there? No, I don't think that's actually, like, on the craft. What if I just do this? Because I don't care. Uh... Da, 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 oh. Nothing will go there. Okay. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Where are wings? Uh, too big. Uh, too lame. Sure. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, did not expect that, but how do I how do I undo this? Interesting. <laughs> um. Okay, go away. I just want like short stubby wings. This is a boat, not a plane. Do not confuse this with a plane. Can I put that shit on the wings? So I think you need air intakes for it to work. Um, it's like a uh, boat dock is what I mentioned. Yeah, that's right, Joe. Um, is it lag? Uh, honestly, I am buffering. I am buffering today. There's some weird buffering going on. I don't know why. Okay, can I just... Oh, here we go. Radial. Okay, that's what I need. That's what I need. How's this for a boat? That looks freaking cool, actually. 
boat launch. Let's check it out. <clears throat> so for you, the playing experience has worked really well. 2060. So I've got a 2070, and I think it's working fine. Oh, cool. Okay, I like this. That's a great shot. I love the screenshots. Okay, first of all, I think we've fallen into the ocean. I need light. Okay. Revert to Bob. Well, thank you. If you if you do subscribe, I normally do elite content, but I'm gonna work a little bit of Kerbal into here because I love Kerbal. Kerbal and Elite Dangerous, like space games, are my thing, right? So really, between those two games, it's like I don't care about anything else. And yes, the Canadian Yeti is gnawing at my internet cables. I think it's I think it's the Hornets, man. The bees. Rockets are needed underwater, no air. But wait, can I go underwater? Are you saying, like, you can actually go underwater? Because if so, I'm, I'm actually, like, very excited about that. Okay, why are my wings purple? I'm just gonna pretend. Okay, well then, hold on. I'm gonna have to have an underwater engine too, right? Uh, is that? I'm also using Methalox. Is Methalox compatible with these engines? Oh, screw it. I don't need jet engines. I need rocket engines. The Reliance. Always reliable. And I'm not going to bother with wheels, because this is a boat. Let us call it Broat. Sure. Now, can I time accelerate in here, or no? I probably have to go to the Kerbal Space Center. Time accelerate. Here. Let's get some daylight! Okay. And back to the bab. Need big fins for control. Well, I don't know. These look pretty... This looks like a dolphin. Not a elite dolphin, but... That should be fine. I mean, what other control... Like, there's no submarine controls. Oh, wait, there are. Screw it. Let's just put a whole bunch of these. It's a bro! Okay. Boat launch. Time for a broke trip. Hopefully it's not buffering. Oh damn you, you're buffering, aren't you? How dare you buff oh my, oh my. Um Okay, we are underwater. Um Um Joe, what's going on? Um, I seem to be actually... Okay, there go my engines. Where am I going? Um, help me. Gemini is having a great time, though. What's going on? I have a submarine? Okay, EBA, EBA, let's abort, abort, abort! Oh, he's actually holding on. Yeehaw! Okay, let go, let go. We must let the broat go. How do I get back to the surface? Oh my. Wow, okay. Uh, you really came out of the water quite amazingly, Jeb. Okay, so there is actually underwater in Kerbal. This is interesting. And apparently jetpacks really work well in that. Do they work well going sideways? Or, well, what's... Okay, I think there's still some more development work that needs to be done here. This is very bizarre. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. But I do love that there is a broat launch. I mean... 
it didn't launch very smooth. I'm not sure how you're supposed to make yourself buoyant. That could imply that, um, like, either A, they're just, like, adding support for modders who want to, like, build submarine parts, or maybe the developers themselves are actually going to work on uh, creating some air carriers or whatever. But I remember in the, in the old Kerbal, you could get out to this island. All right, there we go. Hey, you did it, Jeb. So it looks like the boat is still flowing around down there. The water effects are not bad. The water actually looks kind of kind of cool. Goodbye, bro. Goodbye. It was nice to know you. Well, with that, I think I'm going to end the stream for today. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I really I love Kerbal. Wait, can I plant a flag? Oh, yeah, I can. R.I.P. bro. Broad. Goodbye, bro. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow, they really beefed up that flag animation. So now, can I not read the bro text? You can remove the flag. Maybe you can read it in the space center. Well, that's cool. What else? Because I remember you could also sample, collect samples. But obviously, I don't think they've added um, science in there yet. Yeah. So I think there'll be a lot more to come. Uh, I'm really looking forward to exploring um, Kerbal. What up, Anti Furry Eleven Four? How you doing? <coughs> um. You don't have four fins that are big enough. So wait, do you actually... Okay, hold on. Hold on. So if I put, like, big enough fins, can I really be buoyant? I need to try this, because I like broats. I was just about to end the stream, but I'm like, I have to, I have to know. I have to know. But still, I, I like that um, already I'm having the wacky, goofy fun that Kerbal One gave me. And it's awesome. Uh, but is it, I, I think I saw Yamix post like the video or stream or something where the question was like, did it release too early? And I kind of feel yes and no in the sense that I really think that they didn't set the expectation that, like I didn't know when I bought this that there would be no science, there would be no um, uh, X, Y, and Z, right? So they probably could have um, set that expectation a little bit longer. Okay, and Joe, when you say fins, you mean like control surfaces or what? I don't know. Let's just put the big ones on there. And then the other big ones. And also more. There, that's very broad. Broad it up. I enjoy this. I enjoy KSB. I will definitely play it more. I'm going to get obsessed with this. Wait, wait, wait. Am I floating? Why do I keep pointing at the at the very earth? Okay. I am, I am the submarine. And now I will say go. Oh my. I don't know what I just hit. Was that the ground? It's kind of impossible to steer this thing in the water. Oh my, okay, I think I might have... Nope, that's the ground. I got the big fins, Joe, what do I do now? All my rocket fuel is going away. This is so confusing. Okay, what if I temper my... The problem is, like, the jet nose just wants to face the ground. This is interesting. Jeb is having a blast. No buoyancy. You have to have thrust to weight more than one or wings with lift. Really? You've successfully landed or splashed down. You can recover your wrestle. Okay. Successful mission. I'm going to say that. 
How do you recover? I didn't watch the tutorials. Did you just go here? No? What do I do? Usually it used to be like you would go up here and then the thing would come down and you would click the little... I'm looking for like our little repair button. Like this. What is Kerbal Manager? What? What have I done? Uh... Broat? Recover! Recover vessel. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice, beautiful ending to this stream. Are we actually... Nicely done! You you sank um, what looked like a, a fighter jet to the bottom of the ocean. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm getting stream lag today. The buffers are going in and out. It's the, the Canadian Yeti chewing on the cables. Anyway, um, I'm going to end it for now. Hopefully it's not buffering while I'm saying this, because I don't know if it is or not. Oh, lordy, internet. Uh, anyway, sorry for the buffing. It usually doesn't happen. Um, but I don't know. The last couple days I've had some buffering, so maybe I'll call 